man with the plan. Hmm. If you feel trouble while and wild on these violent and hit you eight thousand. Wait a minute, hold that style is dial Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, see shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us. They don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the Vader players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabers. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Who you damn fools? Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game. I'm out. Hello, what's going on everyone? It's Dan here. Actually, I should be over here. There we go. What's going on everyone? It's Dan here. Welcome back to yet another stream of MLB The Show 24. Uh, happy Friday to everybody. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Thank you very much for joining me. When we last left off in this game, we had just won the World Series for the very first time in any MLB game that we've played so far. Uh, I mean, the last few years has been a struggle because no matter what team we're on, we can barely even make it into the World Series. And when we do... We get into the wild card and we only we get eliminated in the first round essentially so it was very difficult we actually had a solid team you could tell they'd made some changes uh to make the game a lot more enjoyable this year so there you have it and we're back sitting at a 94 overall now obviously <clears throat> i had originally said i was going to be playing nba 2k today and that was actually the plan i was ready to start streaming everything i had the stream ready and i loaded up nba 2k and they're doing season prep and if you guys aren't familiar with what season prep is whenever a, a season ends they literally shut down the servers for pretty much the whole day i want to say at least like five six hours maybe four or five hours to prep for their new upcoming season and you can't even play my career at all because it's online based so because it's online service you're stuck here. So I was literally about to start, uh, you know, NBA and continue that because I haven't played it in I don't know how long. And you can't get into it. That does happen from time to time. Uh, normally, I, it happens to me when I'm just trying to get my daily spin. And I usually just wait to the end of the day and then I can go back in. I don't exactly know when they're done. It might not be like five, six hours, but <clears throat> that might be how long it takes from, you know, the start. Uh, so, I mean, I probably wouldn't be able to start playing until like noon, which is it's nine right now for me. So. And I'd have to wait like three hours before I could even play it. It doesn't make sense. So uh, I find it's best just to do something else in that time. So I, I know we had just played this game, but I was enjoying it. And, you know, I want to keep it going. Why not? Let's try and work our way getting better kit. That's my goal is to get better gear. 94 overall. Let's try and get higher up than that. And we also do have a uh, a new squad. A lot of the big boys from the Jays are gone. You know, Boba has gone. Uh, big Vladdy is gone, of course. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how this new squad uh actually you know goes forward and actually makes some stats so I'm, I'm really interested to see how it is obviously we got spring training up i'm just gonna sim through it spring training is boring as shit to me uh it's not really relevant to us but it does let the team try out a few things with different players but it's just pointless so i'm just gonna sim through it we'll start our regular season uh from there again i don't know how long how far we're gonna get but uh currently our overalls are pretty low the jays have lost they just didn't have the cap space but it's interesting they got me for such a bargain you know what i mean so it's like i don't know right here this is uh oh wait this is what is this hold on this is my current stats stats excuse me uh you gotta look at your starting pitcher we got we picked up a new pitcher sorry not a starting pitcher our, our closing pitcher um Edwin Diaz, star player, 89 overall, came over from the Mets. Uh, he's actually sitting in the back there. One of the best closing pitchers in MLB, I'm told. So that's going to be an interesting pickup, but again, it, it, it's almost irrelevant. We lost a lot of our stars, but and all the guys that we, I would have rather not had out there are now are still with us. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, ugh, well, we'll see what we can do. Like I said, we might, we probably won't even finish this career. Like this year, this season, we got the World Series done. So I usually stopped after two seasons. Or two or three seasons usually is what I do with MLB because it's so much. It takes way less time uh, to actually do it. So and to go through a year. So like this is only year. Se sorry, this is only video seven, and we're already done. 
They're, like, we've already finished our career, basically. More or less. Anywho. I mean, the idea is they want you to play a lot more modes. Maybe I'll play some of the story modes. I never did any of those, but... Uh, who knows? We'll see. Anyway, welcome to the stream, guys. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you all. Make sure you guys leave a like on the stream so I know, uh, or sorry, help out there. And obviously, make sure you're saying what's up in the chat so I know you're with us today. One little mention, our member goal for the day is 410. We're sitting at 406, so we lost a few since the last time we played MLB. So let's try and get back to 410. If you guys want to help us get there, like I said, there's only four members left to do that. Uh, we got a bunch of perks. There's four different tier levels with the entry level starting at only 99 cents. So it's cheap. It's easy to get into the program. You're going to get cool perks as well. So make sure you check it out. Link in the description. Join me below the stream and on my main channel page as well. Uh, make sure uh, if you want a gift or send super chats, you can do so right next to chat. Uh, you'll see that dollar sign. You click it, you get a drop down. You see the super chat option or gifted member option. You can gift anywhere from 1 to 50 in a single transaction. Ultimately, gift as many as you like. Um, Gift as many as you like. And, and many transactions as you like. <laughs> I'm all flustered, apparently. I don't know what to say. All right. Well, anyways, uh, I got. I forgot about this. I got to unpin this. And then... Oh, there was actually nobody. Okay, we were good. Never mind. All right, let's go through chat here. All right, what's up, Dr Trevin? What's up, Garfield? Hey, Gerard. Hey, Devin. Welcome. Uh, hey, Juan. Hey, Jet. Uh, what's up, Mickey? Apotham, hello. What's up, Charles? Hey there, Tracy. What's up, Darren? Yeah, MLB, not NBA. I, I was saying right before you jumped in, my friend, is uh, they're doing season prep. So I don't know if you're familiar with that. I don't know if you've, you've encountered that. Whenever they start a new season, they don't actually let you play the My Career at all because they, they're adding all this new content inside. So basically, I think it, the servers go down for like a few hours, like three hours or so. So by the time I actually am able to start, it'll be around noon my time, which really, that's like half my stream by then. You know what I mean? That's three hours in the stream. So I had to last minute. Literally, I was literally about to start at 9 a.m. and I tried to join the game. And it it just wouldn't, you know. It's like, oh no, we're doing we're doing prep maintenance or season prep to let you know and shit. So, it's dumb, but that's what they do. So, anywho, okay. So let's go ahead and sim because we're not playing any of this. I'm gonna sim, advance to regular season. I like that they give you that option because preseason is so goddamn boring, um, and all it does really is just kind of. Let Toronto figure out, you know, let or not Toronto specifically, but let teams figure out uh, what they want to do with, uh, you know, try different combinations of players, see who's good. You know, they'll pull up some guys from, uh, you know, you know, AAA and things like that just to see how it goes. Um, but you know how it is. Anyway, Thomas, thank you for a thank you for being a member for the last six months, and thank you again for the gifted membership. I appreciate you very very much. Thank you, thank you. One thing I'm surprised at. Actually, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm just, I'm just wondering. It's like, you give people members, which is awesome, but you're an entry level yourself. Spoil yourself, brother. <laughs> Stop giving it away to other people. No, I'm just kidding. Keep giving it away to other people. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for sending those super, or sorry, gifting those members. And you've been sending a lot of super chats as well, bro. So much appreciated to you. So let's kick off the season um, with some angels action. I actually don't know if I have any cards really quick. I'm going to look. Community market. Uh, not community market. Sorry, I'm used to going there. I don't think I do. I might have to bail if I do. I can always leave at some point. Uh, my collection, my inventory. Any packs? No. That's fine. So, like I said, though, I am looking for... Um, where am I looking to go? I don't remember. I can't remember what the red star and the blue star mean. I know they're like your star player, but I know they're different. I think... Like, hold on. Because Mike Trout isn't considered the star. Red star. Let's see what it is. Opening day. Uh, oh, I see. American League All-Star and uh, National League All-Stars. So, he was... So, there's an American League All-Star on that team. So, he got traded. That's why. he's in. That's why there's two on the same team. That makes a ton of sense. Hello and welcome. What's up, Thanks Archer? Thanks for joining us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, we're taking. We're in LA. Well, Anaheim specifically. Seriously, I have no idea why don't they just call themselves the Anaheim Angels? And I think they did. I'm John Shaman. So the Toronto Blue Jays. You know what I mean? Not looking like one of the favorites this season, even as defending champs. You don't see this too frequently. 
How do players in the clubhouse respond to being treated as underdogs, see? Honestly, Boog, it's kind of a slap in the face. I mean, these players worked hard last year, won the World Series, and now somehow a lot of folks are thinking that they're unlikely to make the postseason. I think they'll be playing with wow. a on their shoulders. But I can see why the Look at the projected record they gave us. Stacking up with the league's best. And we have different Still, teams. That's exactly what happened with Toronto when they won the... Well, that's what happened with the Raptors specifically. The they, they were the defending champs. But then we lost Kawhi Leonard and just it, things. But at the same time, it was a great boost we needed to get that team going. But now we're in the middle of an absolute rebuild over there. So I got to hit a dinger to shut those people up. That counts as a dinger because my ears are ringing. I have tinnitus. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Rajat. What's up? Hey, Monet. He really committed in that one fastball one. up at the top of the zone. He knows the underdog he makes a mistake in the zone. It gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss That's right there. I caught a break. That should be a strike. Get your pitch. Here we go. Next offering is in. All right, I'll let it go. I'm letting a lot of pitches go. I did that last uh, in the World Series. And delivers outside. I, I know, Rajat. Uh, like, I, I was going to play NBA. Oh, he got me. All right. I wasn't sure. He's been good at painting those edges. Uh, they're doing season prep for, like, the new upcoming season. And they shut down the servers for a few hours. So I can't even play NBA right now until they let the servers go. And I'd rather not wait a bunch of hours. Got it. to run it down and make a great play leaps at the fence excellent job robs the home run to gotta love that and i love just showboating like that yeah <laughs> yeah oj og's been good but i was I, you know what's funny is I, og was og was like a reliable player but he wasn't like a clutch player so on the raptors i never really wow i'm letting a lot go through they're good pitches i'm just not swinging at them when you consider the way the game is run now doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressive he got a speed boost there i feel like i could have beat him not a bad outcome in that spot the runner moves up We're up two runs. That was early as hell. Well, these Blue Jays do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The starter's pitch count is high. Nice dinger. Drop, 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 drop. That's good. I'm going. That's down. One hops off the wall. The run comes in to score from There you go. That's an RBI. Our first RBI of the season. Oh, here we are. Third time through the order. This is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he On base with slugging, baby. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Eo Juan. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Rip to short. I might have, I might have been able to make it. I might have been able to make it home. There was, a, there was a thought there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened. the ground. Take the force. Oh, not the force. Give me a run in. That was a good. You know why that was a good steal? Because it actually guaranteed that I got there. Back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the. It's an RBI. RBI is an RBI. Taylor Ward, the 0-2. Line drive. Caught. Quinn pulls it in on the, the run. run. They've got a potent lineup. And pulls it in on the warning the track. track. Oh, I cannot believe it. I waited for the Base perfect moment. I didn't. I was just late, but I thought it was good. Next offering. Pop Shut up. Off to the right out of play. <laughs> just talking to the fans who are talking shit in the background. <laughs> Get your pitch. Gets a piece and that could have gone either way. Two. That's all I wanted to make it, make it known. 
Yeah, there's one a ball. ball. Two strikes. Yeah, you got to start somewhere, right, Darren? At least you got your first uh, first dub on the on the board. The old wah. Oof on a stick. That was an oof stick right there. So two down. And here's the first baseman, Nick Prado. And he deals. In the air out to center. Tracks it down for the out. And that is that. As it is. Angel strand one. It's five nothing. And now the center fielder, Daniel Quinn. Oh my God, Dan! Too early, strike one. one. A little too early, Mike. Right a little Anytime too early. That was a lot, bro. This caliber, especially with runners on. Look so out! Give you some confidence out there. Yeah. The that you can wow, Dan! What are you Three doing, big player? Fastball. He's giving me good pitches. I'm just being an idiot. He's got three options. There's that dirty Kirby that I'm waiting for. <laughs> Slider. Honestly, I thought that would have been a good swing, but there's a K for me. Had an unremarkable game in this one. one At least I got ahead. Three strikeouts on the day. Three that strikeouts. The if it wasn't ball, strikeouts, ball, that'd be different. If they were popouts or flyouts, that'd be different. But they're strikeouts, which Daniel are way worse. Quinn, now at the plate. The center field. Daniel. The Owan. It's not fun. I fuck your mom. <laughs> Sorry. There it is. How's that? And you can touch them all Mall baseball, baseball man. <laughs> Why did they? That's. A, I will say. I was bitching. I was. I was expecting more dialogue. Um, <laughs> and that's the dialogue they add. You can touch them all baseball, man. Unless it was included, but I don't remember hearing that at all in past games. It's my first home run of the season. Dalton Var is up there. That home run was a no doubter as we dive into the numbers with Statcast. Crushed, dude. Just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt. Oh, you need a higher intelligence one. skill in order to disarm it there, Darren. You have, like you have to wait until you have a high enough intelligence skill. Eat my poopy pants. Suck my rectum now. Sorry, guys, why am I being so fucking gross? <laughs> My apologies. Here's the two two. Sorry, not sorry. Ripped on a line to center. That's easy. Makes the grab on the run. Then there's one down. You see how the guy at, at second base, I'm not exactly sure who he is, but he's got the long hair, just like Bo. But he's like Walmart Bo. He's great value Bo. Oh, he's a lefty. Whoops. Just oh, missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the I'm still the looking for way. my Jays. The only thing that's not complete extended. with my outfit so right there, just trying to is these damn bit, shoes. So They're still ugly to me. Much outside plate coverage. They're not oh, terrible. Yeah, I've gotten used to them. Outside. But I still want the ones. And, oh. and I'm so sick of these fucking socks, man. I hate the fact that you can't just have them underneath in the background. Wouldn't chase oh. that time. 3-0. I had to hit that. I knew it wasn't a pitch I liked. I should have just taken it. I think they prefer it. If you let it go for a strike and you don't swing, you lose plate vision. So. He was gonna walk me. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna give me something I could work with. Cause this is our third out. So. I need to hit this. Walk me, I guess. But now he's just going to get struck. Oh, maybe not. Solid steal. But now Kirk is going to lose it. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Up the middle. Drury. Third out. Too bad he got the force. 
Here's Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball. I'm about to turn Trout into a minnow real quick. One of those sports, too. In the air, out towards right center. On the move. He's got it. And there are two outs. Every day during batting You can go ahead and take a seat, baseball man. <laughs> oh, wow. I shouldn't be talking. We're down five runs. <laughs> Quinn measures six feet even, 200 pounds, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. With your mom. Sorry. <sighs> When does, well, speaking of that, when does Follow come out? Is that the 11th or something like that? Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And that's a pop. In the air, right center field. I should have left it. it in for the out. My contact is so good, though, that I'm actually making those. <clears throat> we head to the bottom of the fifth. Brandon Drury to the plate. That smash towards center. Quinn brings it in with a nice run and grab. Now, Look at that. Daniel Quinn. He's I'm boosted six and one. seven. And there's potential for a grand slam. That was it. Foul over the screen and back Twelfth? Play. Okay. The opportunity for a huge inning exists. What's up, Fox, right by the way? Bases loaded, nobody out, but as a hitter. How, how many episodes is it again? Eight? Ten? Up against the wall. No. Make him come to you. Close, but called a ball. And one Grand and slam, one. first one of the year. It's not, it's not ideal. That's a double play. I made it. Did I make it or did I get out? I'm out. At least we tied it. And that one hammered. Quinn going back. Oh shit. Damn it, guys. That one messed me up. Because that was the line, right? That's the home run line. That was on me. Alright, enough with that. Enough with the fireworks. Oh, that is some anus juice right there. Makes the grab two down. And we lost. That's a shame. If I just caught that ball, that really could have changed the projection. I don't know. I feel like I'm a bit worried about it because I've never really foreseen. Um, I've never really foreseen. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. What am I trying to say? Like Fallout being like turned into a series, I don't really know how they're able to do that. I, I just don't see it. You know what I mean? Hey, Cav, how's it going? I guess we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll still watch it. But a lot of people are looking at it, saying it looks pretty remedial. Spoils that one and it remains. Those damn two sliders, two. bro. And Down another ball. Outside. Completely walked me. Four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Check on the runner, no, and he's back he's safely. Day. Prado wasn't ready for that. Hey, have a rip at it up there, huh? Oh, no. Shit. The goal. Wow. They pitch out. Fucked and up, honestly. What a throw to end the inning. You know why that's annoying? Because I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to run at all. I mean, I meant to run, but I timed it wrong. It's like I wasn't ready. I was trying to inch forward, but it was a seal situation, so I shouldn't have just walked forward. I always take an extra step. You know what I mean? Like I always try to inch forward and then I go, but he's been pitching quick. He hasn't been waiting that long. 
great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher that's probably the best way to go into anything of often really that's kind of what i do as well I, I never i reserve any judgment i don't hype it up everyone hypes everything up and then they get mad when it's not what they hyped up in their head it's their own faults really but at the same time it's also the developer's faults or of games and produ produ production fault for hype if they do hype it up themselves. The the well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball. Top of the sixth inning. Here's a big power threat. Daniel Quinn. Cool, Kevin. What are you buying? And there's a what are you buying? <laughs> Absolutely not. Don't get yourself killed now. And that should be extra bases. Damn right. Well, he turns and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. I'll take it. So sound in his mechanics. Can't see me. Front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Runner at second. Oh, shit. Nobody out. No, I'm not ready. Oh man, that's gone. Way back there, and that is gone. Beauty. He'll touch them all, and they add to the lead. It's five. Is that Vars? That's Moniac. Now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a. So He's a new addition, I believe. Daniel Quinn, the next to hit, outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. There's a strike. Chop to the left side, Walls. Oh, he's off the bag. Wow. That's a bit of an error. Quinn stands at first with one out. Swing and a ball popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner around second. Nice. I'll take it. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes Decent hit, bro. That ball right there Come on, Vars. They call it a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the short. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance feed. There's one. He's in. Nice. <laughs> Managed to get that running. That's beautiful. Quinn with a good game to help lift them to the win. I'll say. You can't win a lot of games without hitters delivering like he did. Solid. I got to work on my discipline, though, man. I'm striking. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. This is a big series. Or is it a four-game series? I don't know. I think it's a four-game series. I love the random booze. It's funny. Single season RBI record holder. 211. That's crazy. That's crazy. How many other? I didn't even think of that. How many other records did I get? Okay, that one was bad. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Oh, he fucking got me, bro. Good work there as he gets absolutely roasted. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. T Ward. The two-two. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Quinn makes a nice grab at a full sprint. All right, they got one run on us. In the air, right field. Margot under it. Two away. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Pitch. Swung on, belted. Quinn going back. See you later. I couldn't get that one anyway. So he just clears the wall, and they add a couple more. It's three nothing. Four nothing. And first offering is fouled off. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. PP, that was good timing. He just it, and that's exactly what did you what he did. Now. My release timing has been decent. It's been saying good, but it's not making good contact. Yeah, the righty deals. 
Just, that is so irritating because, like, I feel like my timing was good on all fronts, but. And here's the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. Out of line, out towards center. Makes the grab on the run. One down. Here's the center fielder, Daniel Quinn. Not a lot of time left. I want to at least get a hit. And a foul ball. A lot of these going on, y'all. Two outs. Ooh, I'm mad about that. Stop reaching shit. See, I find when I get a little bit antsy for another hit. Gotta get in the swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. He did just that. One and two. Whitgren is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Wow, I was so late. With his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure. And low. Very good about that, and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. That was rough, man. Rough game for me. But this is how the things go. I'm almost at 12, man. If they could just hurry up and do that, I get jelly beans. I thought they stop you. Look at that. Hold on. The Diamond Power Program. 30 plate appearances. 35 put outs. Like, we're close. Diamond Power. Like, that's close. All right. Astros up next. What the hell am I wearing? <laughs> two and two so far. See, we don't really have the best team anymore. It's crazy how we lost so many. Like being like World so Series champs, you'd think we'd have some something. Power at the play. Daniel Quinn. Curveball drops in there. Oh man, look at my average. It's eight. It's eighteen percent. To be fair, it's early. I think he's got it, though. Too bad. God, no, I'm not playing that game, Gavin. All it is is a character. There's no story or anything. And I, I honestly didn't love that game whatsoever. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. I don't know I just I thought it would be so much better. This as is so fucking boring. Top of the fourth. Now here is Daniel Quinn. I mean, I'm being work. a little harsh, I guess. But at the same time, I'm and not. It's like off. He's been pitching I don't know. well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Oh, he fumbles and it. He can't come up with it. To first, and he oh, he still got me? Down. You're joking. Well, well. Wow. I can't believe that. If I had faster socks on, yes, I can say that faster socks. I should have been on base. Wow. What's my timing? Just late? Mm, I don't know about that. I think I should have made some sort of contact. Inside. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Next pitch misses way outside. And now the lefty spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. Cross there we go. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. Right over the train, pretty much. A gigantic blast. And they grab the lead. It's 2-1. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Knew what pitch he wanted. 
Now batting Tristan Casas. Casas Su Casas. That one ripped. And there's one down. That one, like, I, that was like the most routine. Oh, they caught it with three runs. Looks like they want to set up the double. Of course they are. Intentional walk will make it first and second with one gone. Make them pay for that, bro. And there's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Tied at four. Bounce to the left side. And that chance handled in plenty of time. At least we got a run in. Now two away as they get a run across. Here's them walking him was that was his downfall. They're, gonna, they're intentionally walking him now. Walk. Base is now loaded, and there's a force at every base. Lord well, Donald he's one and two, so he's probably gonna get out. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Bader sizing it up. Brings it in. That's okay. And that's the third out. Two outs, runner on first. Here's the third baseman, Alex. Brandt. He's been hitting well, two for three. Now he's about to be three for four unless I catch it. Now he's. And that's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. I think he'll beat me. Oh, I got him. That's some quality outfielding right there. And that's a win as well. I think. Oh, I thought they were jumping ahead. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. He's already homered in this game. Am I boosted? Yes, power and clutch by two. Just a small amount. Nice knock, baby. Go, go, go. Gone. There you go. How's that? One pitch. One hit. That really messed things up for them. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Welcome to the game. Ooh. First pitch out of the bullpen. And I'm at basic, or I'm at bat again. Let's do another one. Get that batting average up. He swings and I don't regret that. I was in the zone. Park. I mean, he could sneeze one over the left field wall into those Some box seats. Now the one. And a foul ball. What are you guys, Team Minute Maid or Team Tropicana? And ball one. I find that Minute Maid is probably a more healthier option because Tropicana is just filled with sugar, but orange juice in general is filled with a lot of sugar. Like, I don't think people understand that it's got more sugar than any soft drink, like any, like, like, grape, like anything you could think of. It's got the most sugar. It's, it's shocking. Good eye in that spot. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. That one misses. And the count is filled up. I'd say we had some of the best bangers from Gen 7. I probably have to agree with that, Archer. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I think they'd rather that. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. And he deals. Oh, that's an easy out. Oh, wow. I could have gone. They took an extra run. I should have kept going. I should have went to third. So first and second with two outs. At the play, Alejandro Kirk. Runner takes off for third, and he walked him. Walks him. That's interesting. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think What is going on here? Base is full, two gone. Luis Urias. Next Come on, Luis. The Blue Jays. Swing and a ground ball out to short. That's a force they out. The force and the I would have been in home. I think I would have been home. No, I wouldn't have been necessarily. Quinn. I'm still happy. That was a domination. Showing in the win. Cracked a pair of homers. Well, they may want to change how they approach him next time because he was just two home runs, four RBIs, two runs, baby. Like I'll take it. Every time he came up. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Yeah, like, honestly, and that's the killer. Because the thing is, sugar is probably the, like, some natural sugars are good, but honestly, you don't realize sugar is the enemy. Sugar leads to fat storage, baby. 
So, if you cut your sugar down, I feel like if you're trying to lose weight, just cut sugar, honestly. Start with that. And you'll be surprised the changes that are made in like a month. If you just like go on like a low sugar kind of a diet and just eat better shit. Because even things like hamburgers and stuff like from McDonald's have sugar in them. Rip to short. Ah! Didn't quite make it. Now one miss. The only time I'll really drink orange juice or anything like that these days is if it's like a naturally like some guys out there squeezing oranges into a, into a cup. That's when I'll drink it. Because those are natural, right? That's all natural sugar. That's good. But the stuff that Tropicana does, they're basically like, how do we fatten the, like, the world more than it already is? It's true. Oh, I regret that one. I really, really do. And now the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. One thing I will say, though. Hold on, let me focus. Oh, he's not doing it. I wouldn't either. One thing I will say is about, I don't know, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, month ago now, uh, Mel and I have been doing a lot better at uh, meal prep and making sure like how like you know you guys have been seeing me i'm actually eating meals at lunchtime instead of just you know grabbing my my bar because my protein bars had sugar in them too like a good chunk of it that's where some of the energy comes from so i'm like let's try and cut this back so i'm eating better meals more wholesome meals cutting back the sugar you know just eating better because i've been working out a lot but it's like i feel like if i just change diet that'll really enhance and i can tell you eating these better meals and like really changing that you do not feel better like everything i just feel better you know like the food is more satisfying you know what i'm saying and another ball. yeah no i agree darren i used to eat cereal a lot too i would wouldn't usually eat that stuff i was more of like a high fiber like mini wheats but there's still sugar in mini wheats oh that's on me Looks like these hitters have been in between with their We don't need to drink soda fastball. though, Cal. Excellent slider, but they've not been able to Oh, he got me there. Velocity and stay there. Rolls across the I don't drink I don't drink any any soft drink at all. My I'm not going to lie. This is my this is my 3. Water, coffee, here's Eddie Rosario and beer. <laughs> To be fair, I don't drink that much anymore for the same reason. You know? It's all about velocity. It's all about exit velocity and the ability to slug and hit the ball in the ballpark. This one in the air center field. Makes the grab. Runner tags for home. Now a long throw home. Got him. Nice. Cut down and that ends the inning. All right, we're down two runs, though. Back here at Minute Maid Park. We go to the ninth. And now for the Jays. Daniel Single or better. Lynn. Uh, trust me, from my experience, if you if you like, because my thing is, whatever you're eating or enjoying, that's like a treat or whatever, that's like so sinfully good or whatever. Feeling better, like like at, not like both like about self conscious, like how you look, but also actually feeling better, like you don't feel sick or is is completely outweighs that moment of you know that moment or brief period of like bliss you know when you're eating sweets or ice cream or whatever don't get me wrong you're not gonna never eat it but i just find it i hate myself i hate the feeling more of you know gaining weight and like worrying about that kind of stuff than actually just having to not eat it you know what i mean i'd rather you know i'd rather feel better about myself and actually feel better physically i don't know that's just me just as a heads up caveat uh even though it's zero sugar and zero whatever like Coke Zero and all that stuff, it's still not the best. 
Honestly, the best thing I can think of is drink like like sparkling or carbonated water. You know, the ones that have flavors. They're zero calorie. They they even I think they have like iron in them. That's all they got. What a jump. Scoreless after one. There's like Back way better tasting alternatives, I find. For the start of the and now for the Jays, Daniel Quinn. I'm not sure how this stream turned into this, but here we sit. I love how they always tell me I'm a six round pick. It's like, man, I think I have better accolades than that now. That's not gonna cut it if it's not resulting in hits. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Yeah, like, cause especially the artificial sweetener, like with aspartame and stuff. Yeah, there's no calorie. I don't think people understand really what calories are. You know what I mean? Cause you need calories, right? Like when you actually understand how the human body works and you get a better understanding of it, people think, oh, I can't have excessive calories. You can, it's more so the sugar and fat content you really gotta worry about. It's just that your body needs calories to burn throughout the day to maintain its energy. If you're over, if you're getting way too much calories, your body doesn't need all that, those calories, and it ends up storing all the fat, all that, all that nutrients as fat in the body for later. It's like, well, I don't need it now. I'll, that's what fat is, right? It's like energy that it can burn when it needs it. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him yeah. control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. So I think that's what people do, especially when they're trying to lose weight too. That's something people are just like, oh, I gotta stop to eating calories. I'm gonna eat less meals in my meals. No, no, no. No, no, no. Maintain what you're eating, like as in like eat eat a healthy amount of food. Don't like eat like burgers and shit, but just. Oops, sorry. That was just a Freudian there, if you call that. Um, yeah, it's just about. It's just start fucking exercising. Fuck, I can't tell you how good that shit is. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right there. Exactly. Speaking of my one of my favorite breakfasts these days. Shit, he got me. So first and he breaks for second. Now they've got him in a run. Oh, I fucked up. I was hoping I was hoping he'd throw it and I meet him up second, but I fucked up. Uh, my favorite breakfast is avocado toast and eggs. So digging in, Daniel Quinn. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is I actually had that this morning. Other thing in this it's absolutely mark, delicious. I mean, you could sneeze one over the left field wall into those Crawford box seats. Out ah, that was short. a chopper. Pena. Fires over to first. And that's an out. The bat. The right yeah, salmon is another one of my favorites too. Salmon and rice. We got the win though. They've been winning series. They win this one. I thought it, it felt like I did worse than that, but we took the series, I think. So, you can derelict my balls, Capitan. We got to be close. We're almost at that. Oh, we got new programs, new equipment. I forgot I got a pro uh, something succeeded or whatever you call that shit. The Rangers Walker. Texas Ranger. You got to remember too that whatever your um, whatever we're playing now, the teams aren't the same because they've made moves. There's different players on each thing. All right, what do we got in the perk? Diamond perk. Thousand. I might as well sell this one in the seventh inning or later. See, the thing is that's such. I, I mean, it, yes, it's helpful. But at the same time, think how long it's going to be. You only get to use this perk for three innings, really. You know what I mean? That's not much. So I'd rather sell this. Do I get all of them? I'll sell them all. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I need to make money. Something diamond. Yes! Oh, man. Okay. Here's the thing. I've already got these exact shoes. But I can sell them for 10000 and buy my next one. So I can buy new socks if I want and get that speed. So I'm going to get this. Oh, wait. Can I not sell it? Oh, yes, I can. Sell now. Thank you very much. Interesting how that someone is looking for this shoe right now. I mean, I got it. I don't need another set of that shit. So let's actually take a little look, guys, at my um, my equipment, please. Because I think the only thing that are gold 
No, the only thing that's gold now is my socks. Right? I don't have a catcher. Oh, and yeah, my catcher ship, but I don't I'm not a catcher, so it doesn't really make sense for me. Yeah, everything else is diamond. Just the socks. So I'm going to go ahead and buy new socks that are 7 and 7. That'll increase my my running. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about my cards. Oops. Sorry, what am I doing? Equipment and perks. Equipment. No, wait. Oh, wait. What's happening? Not mine. Community market. Equipment and perks. Equipment. I just want to see what they have for... I mean, I like to look around and see what they got. Imagine spending money on a catcher's mask that you're not going to get. That you're never going to use. These are so much better than this. these New Balance ones. The New Balance ones, ironically, look better, I think. But the, I think it's just because there's so much going on with these. If you it, These actually look really good in their default color scheme. But as soon as you start changing them... You know, they look weird. New Balance, remember when New Balance was kind of like a dad shoe and it still is? New Balance is starting to get cool. Like, it's starting to be considered a cool shoe. Man, I sounded old when saying that, didn't I? It's going to be a very hip sneaker. Very hip. I'm cool. I'm hip. <laughs> the Ken Griff. Okay, let's 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 just for, let's filter this. We need socks. Three choices, the same thing. So here's my thing: Do I want to wear these socks, which are not the cheapest? These are the cheapest, and they're also the ugliest because they have yellow in them. They don't match our fit. These ones are probably the closest, um, because they're dark blue, but they have a hint of like aqua in them. These ones don't match at all, but they're part of the collector's edition, like the bat I used to have. You know what I mean? This is collector's edition, so it's almost like but this is. These are like a little stealthier. I think I'm gonna get the kid. There we go. Good. Now we have the socks. Now we just that's gonna increase our sprint. See, look at that. Steel goes up two, and my speed goes up four. That's pretty dramatic. Actually, those look okay. They're a little stealthier. They're dark. They're going to look strange when you're wearing... Um, whatchamacallit? I'm going to try it again. But I absolutely hate the fact that it... Def I don't know why this happens. I really don't. Um, you go to the uniform. You No matter how often you change them... Like, this, is to me, is a clean look. I'm really into the tapered... I like tapered look. Because you get to show off the shoe. I always... I like a tapered look. I used to prefer, like, this kind of stuff when I was, you know... But I just love tapered right now. I just love showing off your sneaks. You gotta show off them sneaks. But this won't save. No matter how hard I try, it won't save it. Look. Oh, it says low. Okay, just let's see. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but I'm going to walk out. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to walk out with those damn things. Contact. Contact goes up to a 41 right. Let's do it. Oh, my God. It actually changed them. Bro, did it fix it? Look, I'm actually hiding the socks. Inter if it does, I'd be, like, very surprised. Because you know what's funny? In MLB 22, um, it did let you have the long socks equipped, but hiding them underneath. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think what happens is if you go look at them, uh, if you go look at them in, like, the main menu to see them, I think it defaults them back on, but... I wish there was a way I could check. Oh my god. I 
That one wasn't even in the zone, so fuck you. Anyway, my contact went up. Luis Arias. Man, look at that. Look at the Texas Rangers are, they've got some good players. <sighs> yeah, no, you know what? I, I don't wear Jordan clothing. I, I like their shoes. Let's see. Nope, there come the socks. <laughs> they always do that, man. Turned on, but foul wide of third. I can't get over it because t-shirts are all basically the same price. So it's like, you're going to charge me $60. I mean, there's way, I mean, Jordan is not as much of a, ouch, that's, there are worse offenders than Jordan, that's for damn sure. Well, it was a bit of a cuddle fest over there. I got the Ken Griffey socks and I'm also... And it's gone. Deep left field and forget it. And I've also got the Griffey Jr. batting stance. A gigantic blast. And the Blue Jays have... Yohan. Quinn measures six feet even, only 20 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. You know what you do at that point, Darren? You, oh dear. Jamal, baseball man. Damn. Uh, you just buy that plain shirt, buy the Jordan logo, and print them on shirts. Yes, it's fake. Oh, you can probably get sued for that. But you don't have to. But let's keep that a secret. Swinging a miss. One one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on. It's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. One and one. Horowitz, the base runner at first with one out. It, it wasn't a kiss cam. That was fan cam. Cavin's over here getting all riled up. <laughs> nice knock, but I think that might be too much hang. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. There's two away. Two outs, nobody on. Daniel Quinn will hit next. And what a two-way player. Not just offensively, but as good a defensive outfielder as there is in the game. Yeah, this one's got that, like, sunlight ball. cheese where I can't really see where it is going in the zone. It's not as bad, but it's still there. I can't see it, bro. This sucks. It's pretty dramatic, Darren. It's seven steel and seven down. speed. They add seven to each He's one. That like, and when you think about it, think about it. You're in, no you're in no eighty. If you're in eighty-three, no you're and now a ninety. That's a big jump. Well, we got annihilated, unfortunately. First game. Two home runs. We still lost. I'd rather wear them and deal with the look and actually keep the performance. Daniel Quinn, next up for the Blue Performance Jays. above all. And ball one. I just wish they'd let us put it underneath. You know what I mean? Some people don't like that look. those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two outs. Yeah, there's nope. a ball. Whoa, he got, wow, he got robbed. That should be a strike. Grounder, that's not going to do it. Seager fires over to first, and that is that. Do it for the Blue Jays. A wedding's in August, and it's so funny. I actually suggested that. I was like, should we do like a video or a live stream or something? I mean, we're doing a video, but it's like, you know, just a private thing. absolutely belted. Got it. Makes the catch. 
That's some air. Um, can you imagine like mid ceremony? I got all my like people are sending donations and super chat, super chats, and gifting members, and I gotta stop the fucking like, sir, you know, <laughs> stop it mid thing and be like, oh, oh, thanks to whoever for <laughs> middle of the vows. Oh, thanks to the gifted member, and every single member is going off. We're just waiting for them to finish. <laughs> no, we're, gonna, we're not going to scream it. <laughs> that would be funny, though. Nice. Right down the line. I'm safe. Wow. That was clutch. That's a triple. For the Jays, Mickey Moniak. No outs. The one one. Rip to first. Shit. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Good first out of the inning because it keeps the runner at third. They don't score on the play, and that was the goal. Now you have to do it a few more times before you're completely out of this. Game. Yeah, probably. And a high fly ball out there towards left field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. He'll score on the sack fly. They take the I will take it. And it finds its way through for a hit. All right, I need a double and a home run for the for the cycle. But if you get a triple, it's rare. Dives back in safe. Hey, Mark. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit. And there he goes. They pitch out. Throw. Got it. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Sizes this one up. He's got it, unfortunately. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Bless you. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Quinn on the move, heading back. Leaping, and he brought it back. Throw it. Jesus, bro. No one's even running, but it's like, do this, do that. It's like, throw it then. And next for Toronto, Daniel Quinn. That's for Toronto. Right-handed hitter at the plate. Lots of power. He is dangerous. That misses. Am I boosted? No, no boost. One run across in the frame so far. Here in the second Just faking out nobody. On the oh, the good side. contact, but it was late. Foul ball. Oh, my contact went up to an 89, didn't it? On and the right, the right side. Deals. So, a foul ball good timing, just fucked two. it up. Hey, Trevor, what's up? Hey, Judd. How you guys doing? Two outs. Oh, and that's a right poppy, side. but it's far. Dang and it. That, that. that would have been my double right there. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. The, the poopy pants. To hit. And that one lifted in the air center field. I got it. Quinn tracks it down for the out. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting it. Here's the center fielder, Daniel oh, Quinn. Oh, I, that was a slow slider. Levi, thank you very much for the super chat, my friend. Good afternoon to you as well. No, Trevor, this is a new season. I won the World Series at the end of my... Is that out? Nope. There's our double. Oh, they wanted me to go three. I'm sorry. I could have gone three. I definitely could have gone. I wasn't even paying attention properly. I could have gotten an extra one. Yeah, sorry. Won, won the World Series in the last stream. So this is a new season. Oh, that drilled him. 
Boy, did I ever fuck up. What? How am I safe? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's fucking wild. Nice, and I'm in. My boys have been slapping cheeks. Let's go, baby. I'm not going to be a bat anymore, though, so I, I needed a home run to get the cycle. I got a single, double, and triple. I'll take it. That's three runs. If I got one home run early, that would have been the cycle. I, love, I, I haven't gotten the cycle yet. I've gotten the cycle in past MLB games, though. So digging in, Daniel Quinn. The center fielder. The old one. Boo. <laughs> Swing and a foul. Shut up. That's out of play. Evaldi, multi time all star. The Baldi. <laughs> I know it's not it, but. A cutter. Evaldi. And he works in a slider. Bye. Well, the home the run's out of the way. You can touch the ball, baseball man. A massive home run. That's his third home run of the series. It's 2 nothing. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. Damn, Cavi. It wasn't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we say it's a sinker that didn't sink. Well, that was a splitter that just didn't split. Kind of like a BP fastball. Uh. When you throw that pitch, Look over. you to get it back. You're getting a nice baseball from the umpire. <laughs> See some uh, baseball players clap cheeks. <laughs> now it's Marcus Simeon. I'm sure there's something like that on Pornhub for you. That's good. Here comes a pinch. Welcome to the show. Drive, and that's, a base that's not what I meant. Center field. Garcia around third. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. One left for Texas. And welcome back to the ballpark. All right, I need a triple. Here's a big power threat. Here's Daniel my triple. Quinn. And there's the strike. These hitters have come out oh, ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have it an might offensive have. explosion, that can be a route to doing it. Yeah. Next Damn, he's getting me with these cheese. Strike. Give me something to hit. I should have let that one go. Righty delivers. That's hard hit. Nice. No catch, no catch. He's got that. That's easy. Nabs is too bad. Good contact. Just Man, that's one of those that wrong direction. So now it's Corey Seeger. The pitch. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Smash the oh, that's another home run. And you can it. Darn it, I wanted the cycle. Wow. Just complaining about getting a home run. I wanted a triple. His second home no, I want to get Knox, baby. Homer is above all. I didn't know it's two this game, I think. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. Brings it back on a leaping catch. Wow. Got him. My two at bats are both homers. My three at bats, sorry, but my two hits. First pitch, not close. Two out spaces empty. Nice oh, knock, nice baby. Hammer. Go, go, go. That's back. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second. There's my double. 
Wow, I'm making fantastic, fantastic contact. Those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about a runner takes off for third. Pitch outside. I'm in. Throw to third. Save. That wasn't close. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. Oh, I know, but I'm faster. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. First and third, two away. Or he gets the hit. Fielder, Dalton Varsho. Two on, two outs. Hit in the air, right field. Ah, uh, too bad. You gotta try though. So it's no runs. Get start stealing bases early. Back at Globe Life Field. Now the All right, we gotta shut this down. Young. No outs though. In the air, out towards left center. Calls it in, and there's one away. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays. Ah, uh, we won. A huge win to take this series on the road. 500 XP for that. I gotta be close to getting my 12, but I have nothing to feel buy anymore, do I? You got some good momentum. I was told if I do the storylines, I will, um, oh, I got the jelly beans. If I do the storylines, I'll look at all these 99% diamond power. Interesting. So, wait, if I'm 99%, does that mean one more game and I'll have it? I don't know. Still have a long ways to go. Um... Seven stole extra base hits, seven stolen bases. Two more stolen bases to get that up there, but it's this is the diamond power. I don't know what that I can't remember what those do. But um It just keeps refreshing it. I have to go back to the base. Anyway, uh Okay, I'm going to quickly go back to the... Because I don't think it's here. No, you have to go back to the main menu. I might have another pack. How, uh, Darren, how long did the storylines take out of Kiaras? Because there's two. There's the, the Jeter storyline, and then there's the Negro League storyline, I believe, as well. Right? What am I doing? Sorry. Out of curiosity, because if they're like a couple hours of pop, maybe I'll do both storylines in one stream. Because those are new, right? The storylines are fairly new, anyway. Uh, my inventory, sorry. My packs. Not a great pull on any of them. Uh, these guys aren't worth much. An hour? Oh shit, that's pretty short. Maybe I want to do like a member stream after. Maybe that's perfect for that. Take a short day or just do the member stream early. Get it done. Anyway, sorry, the Razor up next. Again, one of my most common rivals is the Rays. Contact left goes to a 42. That's a no-brainer. So my contact left should be at a 90 then. I think. Oh, God. Triolo and Horowitz is, are both... Look at their averages. They're trash. But look at mine. 357. That's, that's, that's what I need to be. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that, Tade. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The we show are here for you, bro. The show an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. Okay, skip. Is this our first home game? Yeah, it is. First home series. Next up for the Blue Jays. The Jays. On the ground. McMahon fires to second for one. Nope, doesn't get me. I'm surprised they... Well, they tried to get the double play. I don't blame them for that. Two outs, runner at first. Mickey Monia getting ready to hit. He's out. That one the other way. Might as well be. I should have stole it. Even if I stole it, they would have gotten him at first, so it doesn't matter. For Toronto, top half of the Actually, not necessarily. I should have stole. 
The 0-2. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders... And welcome back I'd prefer my socks were just black at this point, just to max my accent. They're pretty close to black, though, so... But I know that they're not. So they're going to foul over the screen and back out of play. So. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. Was my, my wrist, wrist and my hand. Only two now. That one Thank missed. You. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Next Not one misses. Damn, he keeps throwing inside. Two. Really good take, especially, especially with two, two strikes. strikes. Oh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Get you, get you, yeah, yeah, ta, ta. Wait, I'm over two. Because of the error, right? the extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Coming home. The relay throw. Safe. Nice. Good job, buddy. That's an RBI for me. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine. Lifted into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. On the ground. Lau sends it to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping now the ball out, out of the Let's air. Run. Let's the defense work okay. behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Dalton Varsho. You have to find a way to score the runner from third, especially with less than two outs. Wait for the pitch you want and hit it as hard as you can. Bounce to the right. That's a run in. Doesn't matter. Now two away as they get a run across. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Daniel Quinn. Oh, yeah, what the blue miss. balls was I thinking? In his fourth year, 31 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2015. Strike Me thinking it's gonna drop. That's and that's the whole point of baseball. Right there, right? Trying big to throw people off. On the bump and big time pop at the plate. He does like an interesting little inside. You know, every time he pitches. And it's gone, baseball man. It's my first home run. Ninth home run. And we're, it's our ninth home run. And it's only the third series, fourth series. Crazy. That's averaging more than two home runs a series. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Center field. Quinn sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. Hauls it in on the warning track. Big dub. Was outstanding in this ball game, helping them get the win. Hell yeah. Can't say enough about what he did for him in this one. He's a big reason they got the W, and it's easy to see why he's a key contributor. So two down, and now Daniel Quinn. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of what do I want? Power, but then. If this hitter gets okay. a strike or two on him, he's still I don't need power. I want play discipline because it always drops. But barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Pitch Go misses. Ball. One and zero. Oh. Hey Dan. And a foul Early, ball. that would have been a big one. Exit velocity was one oh nine. So if I hadn't waited, that would have been out of here. Down, nobody on. Good eye right there. Good night. Good night. Oh, run.
Goodbye, sir. Promise a double or better. And I got it. Third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't Don't require that. Elevated fastballs, especially when base is empty one away. And now it's Jose Siri. On a line, base hit. Oh, I missed it, bro. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second safely. Sorry. As soon as that one shot off. Oh, now they got two runs ahead of us. Guess I'm gonna have to ding. Swings and fouls one off. Nine home runs, ten, bro. That misses. And now it's even one and one. The one one is fouled off. Some real good the one one to the zone on that one. Oh, inside gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. My bad. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Man, there was no deviating from the fast. Wow, six to one. Quinn one in his third season. Only 20 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. This man is not 20. I should have let that one go. That was trash. Kicks and deals. And there's a ball. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Come on, that's good timing. Just nothing, nothing coming. The pitch. And now it's three and two. Really good take. Especially with two strikes. Especially with two strikes. Oh, that was the one. Good timing again, guys. Like, look, I'm not making the shit up. Look, why is that missing? Whoa. Finally. Too bad. He almost had it. No, he doesn't. But instead returns to second. He didn't tag up at all. First and second, two down. And now Alejandro Kirk. Two on, two outs. Runner yeah. takes off. Trying to wiggle out of a rundown no now. You know why that's annoying? Because. Get back to the bag. Bang. You know why that's annoying? Because he was 0 and 1. Whenever they're 0 and 1 like that, they never. Went, okay, whenever they're 0 and 1, they usually hit it on the next one. Why bring you into the play then? Started. Stupid. And now, Cruz. The Cruz. In the left center for a base hit. I only stole. I know there was a guy at second. I only did that because I figured he was going to hit a dinger. Not sure why they would throw a strike and then put me into the game. Oh my god, eight to one, bro. This is some garbage. Daniel Quinn. Kelly in his fourth year he features a four seam fastball a curb a slider and he works in a changeup I guess I can't assume anything got me with that changey that was a slow pitch the pitch oh I was literally looking down I'm sorry I I, I, I got like a text or something distracted me that's funny. Here's the center fielder. Well, it's Daniel not funny. Quinn. He's already homered in this game. Not a lot of time to get this done. That One misses. Ball, no strike. Yeah, that's ball one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Hammers that one. Good night. Field and forget it. 
Whoa, whoa! Bro, that hit the third deck. That hit third level. Wow. I think if I play through this season, I'll beat my old record for homers. Look where that landed, bro. Holy shit. 160 mile an hour exit. It actually hit the middle deck. Still lost, though. I did pretty good. My power is almost at a 43, bro. Doesn't matter. I'm with. Uh, they got rid of all of our good players. At least we have a good closing pitcher, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, in Canada, you got to have... You got to have a dome because you never know if it's going to rain, snow, sleet, slush, shit, shave, shower, anything. You can do any of those things. And a base hit up the middle. And that extends the inning. And now the right fielder. I was going to steal anyway. And there he goes. This one. Oh, he drops it. It was an error anyway. That's funny. Two outs and one in scoring position. Like just now, Darren? The right hander gives up the two out walk. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Oh, Varsho's going to get put out because that's how he rolls. Two outs. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gets to it on the first. That completes the strikeout in it. Poopy pants. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. And now the left. Was it, was it big? Line drive. Makes the grab. That's out number two. Now up for Tampa Bay, Junior Caminero. The pitch. That one ripped. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. The what was he in. thinking? And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. It's always a big risk when you try to take third with two outs. But it, that, it's on a scale of 10, right? So it's about halfway. That, that's pretty big, isn't it? As we go... To the last of the third. So it, 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 you feel that ball. shit. You would feel that. Quinn. Here comes a pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Wasn't yeah, sure. That could have gone either way. That one called just inside, I think. And on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be. Pictures fell over, though. though. But he clearly thought it clipped the corner. This one blasted the other way. Down the line. And it's a foul ball. Foul ball. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And another one. ball. Looked like it was going to hit me, but. Slider misses outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Swing and a miss. And now it's three and two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. All right, he's walking me, I guess. Difficult to pick that up. Might be a steal sitch. So up next for Toronto, Mickey Monia. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Rudder takes off. That's out to center field. Siri in position. Puts it away for the out. One down. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Rasmussen over to first. Ragamuffin. The one two. Run around the move. That one rip left field. A Rosarina ranging back. And caught on the warning track. Man, I'm trying to go, but they're hitting it. Looks like they're gonna strike out. Runner at first with two away. Might as well. Alejandro Kirk digs in now. Shit, he got me. To first, and he breaks for second. Oh, caught up in a rundown now. And they tag him. Oh, I th oh, he faked it. Oh, he faked it. I thought he threw it. That's funny. All right, whatever. Drive him in, baby. It's fun to steal, though. I don't care. Even if you fail, it's still fun. 
like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield. Yeah. Is it the yeah. first runner at second oh has a very good read? Sound like Al Pacino out there. And whether or not he can score on that base hit. Well, these Jays showing great discipline at the play. Oh, wow. I was ready with the 12 6, but apparently I was still early. The 12 6 can be so slow. Game, and of course, that's providing them with a lot of run scoring opportunities. Oh, wow. Am I boosted? I won't know until it's. Yes, power and clutch is boosted. Next offering is down low. It's a good take. Yeah, I have never felt one either, Archer. We're not. I'm not in the zone for that to happen. Well upstairs, and now three and two. two What's up, Ice? How you doing, bro? Already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Timing was good, just didn't make good contact. First and second, no outs. Here in the I mean, I'm boosted. I really, really got to make something happen here. Up the middle. Oh, that's... A stop. Nope. One I'm safe. safe. Just beat him. So they get one, but a really nice try there. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mickey Moniak. Now moves to first. And he dives back in safely. Runners at the corners, one away. Here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Runner on the goal. Swing and a base hit. One run across. Now a long throw home. Quinn headed for the Oh, play. man. Another Good steal. Score. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. That was a thing of beauty. Because he fumbled it over there. I got to take a look at that. I'm gone. Barreled into the hitting zone early on in his swing. He was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line. See, he had to, uh, that. Was, I can't believe I managed to get to three. That's awesome. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Yandy Diaz now. The one. And he deals. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Throw into third. Good day, out. sir. Cut down and that ends. The and at first, Daniel Quinn now at the plate. One for two. Pitch misses there. Out. Ball one. Line ah, short and God! Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. And now the center fielder, Daniel Quinn, one for three. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. Light tower power. I mean, you're power. talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now it's the right fielder, Mickey Moniak. Here goes the runner. Pitch misses inside. Throw to second. Ah. I'm surprised he rolled that way. Still one. That was a solid dub for us. All right, we got some unlockables because we got a diamond challenge or whatever they called that with all those steals. Rangers again playing not quite back to back, but closest thing to it. What's worth the most? This A6. I don't really need anything anymore. Another Dragon Slade. Holster Slam. Aggressive Flip. I should look. Honestly, I don't. I'm going to go pick this. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go see if. Uh, I want to see what my home runs look like. Because I know I have some new ones.
Home run Sally. Oh, I don't have one of these. Oh, wait, I do. Hold on, let's see. The caddy. Oh, I see. I forgot, this is the end. The celebration comes at the end, the handstand. This one I've had for a while. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. Let's do it. Hold on, where is it? Style 24. Hold on. Watch out, dugout. Oh, that one's aggressive. So he does throw it, but it's more cocky. I kind of dig that. Instead of throwing it up, he throws it back, but... Start your stuff. <laughs> I've been using the don't need. Oh, and he flicks... Oh, wait. Oh, that's flick of the wrist. Oh, no. This one he does. He kind of struts, and then he flicks it off. Oh, that's disrespectful, man. Oh, my God. I love the don't need it. I thought I had way more than this, though. What happened to... Where's right hand two? Wasn't there another one? Like, these are... There were a bunch that said right hand two, didn't they? Jesus, man, that's so disrespectful. Dude, what happened to the, where's the home run two ones? <laughs> left hand, like left handed, like, you know what I mean? Like it said our right hand two. So where are those all at? Oh, you know what? Well, here's what we'll do. I know why. Watch. I'll do that. I have the new changes. You have to change um, hitting style. Maybe not. It's probably two hand style. Yeah, that's why. Cause you need it you need to have a two handed. So whenever they say right hand two, it means you need two you need two handed. That's what that's talking about. Aggressive flip. Holy shit, he slams that bitch to the ground. I have a lot of these. Did I have another one? Oh, aggressive flip. I thought he meant like he flipped it aggressively. Just bail. Do you want to? Yes. Because I want to make sure. I prefer the one hour in release. It looks cleaner. I just want to make sure it still saved it. Oh. Dude, I changed it. No? I mean, style 24 is calm, cool, and collected. But I want to. Which one did I see? Watch out, dugout, where you just throw it behind you like that. It is a different kind of throw. It's a don't need it aggressively. <laughs> now we're getting this cocky attitude. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Man, my boys are cold still. Look at my batting average. It's 40. 400 BA because I'm hitting so strongly early on. One down. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. They're getting me for cheap, is what they're Line doing. Drive base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out. And I'm stuck in $800,000 a year. 
And I'm breaking records. I should be making millions. And next for Toronto, Daniel Quinn. He's been on fire at the dish lately, averaging more than two hits per game in his last five. Foul ball. Yeah, Juan. So our power right is now 120. That's crazy. Now we're going to be handstanding across the plate. And now one and two. <laughs> so, especially in like away territory, that's going to be so rude. And another ball. Yeah. Why make millions when we could make billions? That one missed. This ball's chopped to the ground. Over to low. And that'll do it. Blue Jays go down in. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here's Let's the just catcher, say yes. Jonah Heim. Swung on, belted. Jonah Heim, California. Back there. Got it. Or you just tackle him. It's like one of these. Or you just you slap him in the face. You just slap. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Nice. Go. Where's he going? Around third. That is it. Shit. A run comes in on the play. Damn it. Here's an easy out with a pair of Horowitz, Horowitz fucked me up. So the Rangers back. Horowitz fucked that up. I should have stopped. I don't know why I followed him. But they're telling me to go three. I assume they were telling him to go home. But. <laughs> I've never had that happen. So I just assumed. I've never had a guy think that it like I, that was bad. Uh, like he looked at that. It's one thing if it's a pop fly, but it wasn't. It was like a line drive, and he goes back to first. Like the AI fucked up. Oh, I know I should have stopped at second, but I just assumed if they told me to go third, I thought he was gonna do this. I mean, shoulda, coulda, woulda. We didn't do it. In hindsight, twenty twenty. Gets a piece. And stays alive. But I was just buddying up. Can you imagine just hiding behind him? Like, you can't touch me. <laughs> that one off the mark. Oh, that'd be funny. One and two. Bounced up the middle. That's a dub. They take the force oh, sorry, Forrest. I didn't notice. That ends the inning. Bottom of the eighth. And now the center fielder, Daniel Yo, uh, Quinn. That was pretty garbage. That's an easy out. Sometimes they throw a bad, bad, you know, just throw up garbage. Still one. My base running aggressiveness dropped because of that fail. It's like, what are you doing? You're like right up his ass. It's like, yeah, I was just trying to chase my friend. Like we're running through a field of petunias. And I'm not making it. Tosses to first. Not even close. That ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. There's always someone who does that, though, Darren. Center, top of the second, stepping in the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. And that one hammered Quinn, ranging back. Got it. And he brings it in on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into the back. The third The old one. Oh for one. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. One down, base is empty. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. One ball. The other never descended. 
Ah, oh, man, these infield groundies are not doing me any favors. At least they're throwing it right to first instead of giving me hope. You know? Now a screamer into the outfield. I don't think anybody would be crazy enough to do that, Darren, but <laughs> I would love to see it. That's a good knock, but drop, drop, drop. I'm in. Just made it. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Evaldi checks the runner. Dives oh, he got me. Oh, wow. Now in Toronto, here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Interesting. I've never not gone back. That's the first time I've ever been picked off. Wow. Crazy. Apparently, I'm getting a tad lazy. Quinn. Going back on this one. Got it. Brings it back on a leaping catch. Wow. Daniel Quinn, the next to hit. I didn't even need to do that. I didn't even need to be off the bag because we had no outs. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the night. Oh, I regret that. I knew it was bad, but I still swung. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. That one really a little bit late. Foul. That would have been money, though. Ah, it was a tad low. Down to their final strike. And we lost. And he got him. I should have left it. Oh, I wasn't feeling it after he picked me off at second. I looked like a bit of a ding dong. Ding dong at the plate. My base running aggressive. My steals went down, which is odd. Try to check the outcoming, but that doesn't happen often. Line drive. Got it. Just. So one out, nobody on. Now the number two hitter, Evan Carter. One down, base is empty. That's hard hit of the line. Shit. And that one hops the ball. the ball, Jesus Christ. Not stopping, he's going for three. He'll make it. And he's got himself a triple. My bad, I was totally, I totally misread where that was going. Oh, that'll make you feel What's good all these mistakes right I'm there. making? Man, it's like that's why you're only worth 800k. Quinn, next up for the Blue Jays. Two for eight in the series so far. Off the mark there. One Imagine being a World Blue Series champion Blue, Blue Jay, or just World Series careful. champ in general, putting up numbers like we're putting up and not and not being able to just go ham with your uh, with your with your bank account. There's a foul ball. The pitch. That misses the zone. And the count's even at two. Stay drop, 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 drop. We're good. Lead runner makes the turn at second. He was going to third. I could have made it. But they would have tried to. If I had went, they would have tried to pick me off. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Two on, one out. Runner on the goal. It's gone anyway. Beauty. What's up, Marcus? And now they're out in front. It's three nothing. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely yeah. Eight hundred grand after my first season. Um, I won the World Series. I did had all these stat lines, and they started me at seven sixty. But then I, so they tried to give me seven sixty, and I brought it up to eight. 
Because I know, I know if you over ask, they drop to lower than you can. So if it was at the same number it was in my entry season, I was like, wow. Not my entry season, but like, I think after this season, this will be my fourth. I'll go into my fourth year. Is it five years? I can't remember how long they have me for. But yeah, they don't give me much. The money doesn't matter, though. You don't actually get it. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. Inside. And he hits me in the ass cheek. The well, it might have been the hit, the quad. And he hit him. One gone runner at first. Now the batter now, Mickey Moniak. Shit. To first, and they've got him picked off. Oh, caught up in a rundown now. And they tag him out. Man, you accidentally bump it, he commits to whatever you did first. He'll try and... Go, 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 go. Gone. Made up for that. That's crazy, hey, Bentley? That's their third home run Ten years ago. They're having a lot 2014, hey? Those were different times. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. He taps my shoe. Man, that's rude. At least we're home. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the now runner at first with two away. We still don't have a no doubter though. We gotta do the no doubt with the new animation where you whip it back. That one ripped. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. The third he's out. third. And he's out. Bust down, and that ends the inning. It's gay one. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that was 2013. I think I played all those games for the first time. Well, not for the first time, but you know what I mean on the channel. I, I do want to redo all three games because with the new skate coming out fairly soon, I want it to be fresh in the mind, get a fresh new run of it. I haven't played it in ages. Yeah, that's outside. Well, these Blue Jays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. One thing that really stands out is their chase rate. League average is around 30%, but they're at less than 20% right now. And a pitch. Grounder might ah, be that's pee-pee. Over to Seager. Back to Couldn't beat him. First. Good and double. That is a double play. Say this team really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win. Got the, the win anyway. I say that was a good series overall. Even though we made some stupid mistakes throughout, it was a feeling out process of what you could and couldn't get away with. You know what I mean? Look at it that way, guys. Okay. All we can do is just play. Play and play. 10 and 6, both teams. From one Blue Jays way in Toronto. And now for the Jays, Daniel Quinn is hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. The Owan. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Two out spaces empty. That's off the mark. And one and one. Clobber to right field. There it is. No doubter. That one is like you realize it like earlier it has less pop there's your no doubter I don't know the don't need it is still one of my favorites because you just it's slow and you're like no stances way in he's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now that's so rude especially away back to the top of the lineup now it's the right fielder Louis Pauprin Louis Pauprin that's what I heard for Joe Ryan, the journey is so interesting when you think of a guy who started his college career. Hammers that one. 
curling down the line and foul. Ooh, that could have gone either way. It was out of Cal okay, State yeah. status laws that he was a seventh round pick by the Rays and then eventually got a chance to make his way through the Rays system and then was dealt for Nelson Cruz to the Minnesota Twins. One down, base is empty. Here's a high chopper lead. That's rough. Over to first and two away now. So up next for Minnesota, Brooks Lee. And the righty deals. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. The Owan. <laughs> Every chance I get. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss as he was late. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Oh, that's way long gone. Go! So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Lontigua at second with two down. to the play that's uh, been a bit of ball Buxton moves under it that's trash brings it in for the third out one left for and we won again it's nice to win the home open over four game series you know you got a lot of miles in the journey against that other team but that wasn't our home opener game. you can set the tone position yourselves set up your bullpen 1.076 slugging percentage are you shitting me we'll see if they can continue that momentum in tomorrow's game Already? Fuck. That's crazy. What is that it for the series? The fuck? Is it a one game series? Wait, what happened? No, why did it do that? Did I hit go back to clubhouse for some reason? Why did I do that? I mean, there's a new equipment pack. Drag and bunt goes up 10. Interesting. Sorry guys, I don't remember going back. I thought I would hit play. That's that's very odd. I don't think I've ever done that. Sorry. I was gonna say a one game series? That doesn't exist. My boys are still cold. Look at their batting averages, man. Might as well throw it in the garbage. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. Oh, that would have been a good hit, I think, but I was late as hell. A former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slurve, a curve, and he works in a sinker. There's a slurve. One missed. Man at first, one away. In the air, out towards right center. Drifts towards it. Ah. And there's two down. And we're back. New inning getting started. And now for the Twins, Carlos Correa. That one ripped. He's got it. And there's one down. What's funny is whenever the ball comes, I start running in whatever direction. They want you to run in whatever direction the ball is heading. But I tend to start running in any direction at all and then because your guy rotates so fast. It's better to not wait and start running to get the momentum up and turn than it is to just wait too late to turn immediately Oops. from the right direction. You know what I mean? Oh, man. These are brutal. All right, all right. But you gotta get a pitch that you can handle. 
The next offering misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. They do, John. They have a whole league, actually, in Mexico. And there's thoughts that maybe Mexico will join MLB. I don't see why not. 2-2 two -two now. Wouldn't yeah. chase that time. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Good day, sir. That one felt good, and it ties it up. It's 1-1. One, one. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. Base is empty with two away. Ezekiel Duran, the next twin up to hit. Line drive, base hit. So he gets on base. They do give you an eternity going. to throw that, don't they? Hey, Are they, are they walking me? Yeah. Coming, bases down you can always tell when they're intentionally walking you. Every base. And next will be the smart, hitter. smart, actually. I don't think they're going to. I don't think. Well, Moniac can hit homers. That's just a force out. Take your pick. Tosses the first out to escape a base. Ezekiel Duran. Ezekiel. Fuck hit. you, Ezekiel. Lifted in the air, right center field. He's got it. Yeah, there's two away. So two down. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. He's already homered in this game. Ah, oh, that's PP. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Wait, we won. He throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just Did we win? The catcher put down. I don't know, maybe we didn't. Navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. Here's Royce Lewis. Ah, it's uh, Jackie Robinson day again. And that one hammered. Quinn going back. Save ah. Out of that one. He hammers one out to center. Bomb of soda. Had the lead now. It's two nothing. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to get Almost. I don't think I could have jumped that high unless I Just bounced off the wall. Zone. Line drive. Quinn. Flashes One thing is, I on the sometimes edge. though you can't tell how high it is, so you don't know if it's worth running off the wall yeah, or if you, it's Toronto. better just to catch Daniel it. Quinn. You know. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. Got wow! Why did I go for that? Early strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on. Oh my God, Dan, stop. It's getting me with these sliders. I hate sliders because they look like they're going center and then they drop brutally and they make you look like a fool. Struck him out oh, I thought that was high. Wow. Yikes. Minnesota, Louis Pobrick. Swing and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. And a foul ball. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my, my wrist, wrist and my hand. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece. Had to swing just to stay alive. 
He's throwing everything in the zone except for that third pitch, which might be borderline. I could have left that, but he's painting edges, bro. That's what I'm talking about. The Twins leading by four here in game three of this four game series. Pitch one, misses two. there. Now one and two. The Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Oh, nice God. Grab. Make a great, great contact, and it just did not clear him. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close I got to do gap. something to close it, you know, yeah. At the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Well, these Blue Jays hey, Dylan, it's going good. How, how's, oh, I guess. How's your swing going? <laughs> their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball. Oh, my God. Early, but it's just not happening Dude. for them so far. Zero extra base hits. Third base with his beast in. What is going on? And at first, Ezekiel Duran. The next twin up to hit. Dear God. Boy got hops. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. The throw to third. And he's out. What's up, Tanner? Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. Royce Lewis, the next twin up to hit. Ripped on a line. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Not in time. He's safe. I mean, we got two runs, but we're running out of time to get this done. Wait, Will Smith. Daniel Quinn. He played for the Dodgers. I was wondering why he was fucking me up at the plate. I'm hitless. My hit, hit streak is 12 games. Here's your one. And that one fouled off. Hey there, Jason. How's it going? Kicks and fires. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Just get on base. I want to keep my head straight. That one, the count now two and two. Could have gone either way. He <laughs> was born in West Philadelphia, yeah. The pitch. On a pitcher's That's mound is where he spent most of his days. <laughs> Chilling out, Max, and relaxing. Breaking All cool. Throwing some baseball outside of the school. <laughs> Here comes a pitch. The three two is It's still a ball, it doesn't count as a hit, so. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Mickey Monia next up for the Blue Jays. Now snap throw to first. And he's back in safely. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to Man, have you seen my glove? Checked the lost and found. You keep throwing like pitches like that, I'm going to charge that man. <laughs> Sorry, that was stupid. Oh, that was garbage. There goes my hitting streak, unfortunately. Ready to go now. And now for the twins, Louis That's hard hit in the line. Oh, I bumped it. Honestly, I don't know how to explain it, guys. Sometimes the way I hold the controller, I just I just mess up. I think we got him. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Got him. Quinn digs in down. 
Nice crack. That's a gorgeous one. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice Shit, no! To first, and they've got him picked off. Oh, caught up in a rundown now. <laughs> Come on, Dan. <laughs> run down I've ever been a part of. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, who cares, Ice? Who cares? <laughs> oh, that was too fucking hilarious. There was no way I was getting out of that. They were too efficient. Oh, I don't even care. Oh, that was fucking hilarious. There was no opening. There's no way I was getting out of that. Two I tried. Outs. And it's even up. Blue Jays down a run here in the finale of this four game set. In there. Mm, I left it. And so now one and two. Probably, Jason. Probably. Oh. And another ball. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Man, it's second. That's okay. down and in. Yeah, just like fucking stiff arm him. That'd be awesome. This one there you go. That's a beauty. A gigantic blast. It's 4-3. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Oops. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge did not get over. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's Carlos Correa. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Well, there's one away. Well, we go bottom six. Stepping in the long ball threat, Daniel Quinn. Out. Oh, I had him in the leg. Golden. Safe at first, and now after the play. Hey, man, an RBI is an RBI. Sorry, an OB. And ba the on base is on base. On that was quite a shot he took as you see him down I won't steal. Yeah, I won't. Really in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Toss to Alonzo. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. So, runner at second, two down. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Runner takes off. Timing is trash. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. Three for three, two singles, and a homer. Still tied. And really late, off. unfortunately. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And a pitch. Back our Early, That's really. I thought I waited in time. Strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Tied at four. Ooh, it's a bit low. Oh, I'm gone. Oh shit. Yikes. All set for the bottom of the eleven. Extra innings. Let's walk it off. Daniel Quinn. Go. Walk it off. That's it. There's the win. 
Let's go, boys. <laughs> That's a big old hug. Let's go. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. It's good enough, man. That's all we needed to do. Just bring the run in. Quinn with a game to remember, particularly. I was 100. percent Is that four four? four hits, one of them left the park. I was four for four. Kind of oh, four for five. Forget. Sorry, forgot about that strikeout. Four for five. All right, ready, boys. Unwashable. All these ones suck, so it doesn't matter. They're all silver. They're all worth 25. Uh, like I said, though, I don't think I have anything else to buy, so it's almost like... I can't remember what I finished at as my highest when I was uh, playing other MLB The Shows. They're still cold. Varsho's 84. Kirk is 84 as well. I mean, I'm I'm the new I'm the new number one. They probably couldn't. They probably didn't have the cap space for. Uh, they added free agency, so. Like I'm talking about Bo Bichette and Here's some Guerrero. Real power at the plate. Daniel Quinn. Anything Obviously with contact. Who makes good contact? Hits for average. But one of the things it's for average. The value. Forty percent, bro. He hits both righties and lefties. First pitch misses. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitchers' arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup. And I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Are you gonna walk me, or are you gonna give me something I can actually dig? There's a strike. Ooh. Interesting. With the breaking ball, just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Oh, that one actually looked high. Yes, he did. He would have walked me there. You get that sound effect off the goddamn speaker. Kicks and fires. Yeah, walk me, dummy. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive second. Oh, I missed lead. it. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI. Oh, he caught it. If he missed it, though, we would have been on deck. Two outs, nobody on. Down the number two hitter. Oh, look at the wait. The Reds have a new. Lo oh no, that's their new alternates, right? Sorry about that. Forgot about that. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Ah, oh, I jumped late. That's annoying. Those are super fucking clean, those jerseys. I've always liked an all black with a single color. And look at the, look at the logo and everything. It's all blacked out with bla red at like red. It's got like a red um, drop shadow on it. That's sick. Red stroke. Yeah, no drop. Shadow. That's those are clean jerseys. How come we don't get that? And first offering is fouled off. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle or second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments. Oh are my being goodness! Made. He swings and fouls one off. These hitters like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball along. The only thing I think I could buy is new stands, tape if I want a different color tape for my bat. That's about it. Better keep your eye on the game. The so I have nothing else to buy. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. See, a lot of these are so close to the edge, it's like, should I let it go? His bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Oh, that's on me. Man, you really you really hate the powders, don't you, Ice? They're they're retro, right? That's that's the thing. Those were Jay's colors before. They're retro, so they're cool. Quinn makes the play, and there are two outs. Now Drive in. Yeah, let's get clutch. Oh. 
And that's outside. 1-0. and oh. Runner at second, two down. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. I mean, who are we kidding, Tino? He's still going to get drafted. Wouldn't it be interesting? If Has there ever been a active roster father-son duo? Oh, error. He'll make it. He's done. Yeah. Even with the error. Run around at first with one gone. And here is Spencer Steer. And he swings and lifts. I'm not going to be able to make that. Shit. And now maybe extra bases. Around third. Oh, he's going home. The relay, and he's Ooh, we canceled it out. Oh, no, that was our third. I thought that was the final out. My bad. Too bad. Sorry. I need it. I need it now. I need to at least come within one. That was it. They gave it to me on a silver platter. Two outs. Yeah, that's outside. But the thing is, one one. It, it does, though, because it's a shade to them. It does make sense to have. Otherwise, you're just wearing old jerseys. The idea so isn't to just to wear the old logo. It's here. like this is the retro on. style with oh, our yeah. current. It's This is modern. This is, nibble, it makes 100% sense. Otherwise, they're basically just wearing the old jerseys. It's, gonna bring in some runs. it's a modern take on a classic. That's what it is. The whole reverse retro concept is the exact same thing. Three, one, he Ooh, that ahead. actually was a strike, but second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking Come on, to. Varsh. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. That's a force. Out to escape a bases loaded jam. And we lost. Just couldn't get anything really solid. No hits for me. In your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food. Do you, do you think LeBron is holding out for that purpose? Wouldn't it be crazy if, like, the Lakers drafted him? That'd be very weird to me. Good hit. I don't know if it's got too much height. It's gone. Jump out front, it's one nothing. First pitch swinging, and he got the fastball. He knew exactly what to do with it, too. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it. And it went a long way. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hit. Spencer Steer. Two on, one out. Light drive. Quinn tracks it down for the out. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making. And we're back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Daniel Quinn. Ooh, I regret that. It's all one. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. On the ground of first. Oh, great grab on the dive. Can I beat him? Oh, that's a little cheese. I feel like I'm faster than him. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the first baseman, Spencer Steer. The pitch. That one ripped. Quinn reaching back towards the wall. Brings it back on a leaping catch. Wow. Well, that would have been huge if it would have snuck over the glove to take the right, boomy punks. Great athleticism at the wall goes up and brings back a homer. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So a man aboard now with one away. New inning getting started. And now the center fielder, Daniel Quinn. Big knock. Might be good. I think that's out. Ah, oh, it looked good. Exit velocity was good, just didn't have the carry we needed. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. Hit hard, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. 
All set for the start of the inning. And now for the Jays, Daniel Quinn. That has happened many times, hasn't it? Where a fan robs the actual player. The pitch. On the ground, De La Cruz. Slings it's interesting first. because sometimes it's in their zone, the right? Like it's in their area, but sometimes they reach down into the play to steal it because it would have been in. Did I swing at that for real? Man, I hate these underthrow pitchers. They're so hard to read. Not close with that one. One and one. Wow, it's so distorted. It's hard to tell where it's coming in. Yikes. Well, pretty clear to me. He's trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Steer drifts towards it. Makes the Sorry, y'all. Can you imagine if he dropped it? You get four. Here's the third baseman. And a pitch. And a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Here comes the throw. Too much power. And he's out easily. Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. The Got the save. win anyway. Good job, and boys. Will go down as save number 300 for him. Steadily moving up the all-time list. Truly rarefied yeah, air you're in once you cross that 300 mark. Three three He's one of the... Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. What did he end up doing? Did he hit the fan or something? <laughs> no, he didn't hit the fan. He's in. The throws offline. He's safe. Let's go. That's an RBI. First, it's one zip. First and second. No outs. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. First and second, one out. And now the shortstop, Addison Barger. And a pitch. Swing. Come on, guys. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting Oh and the two. Like how are you that bad that you're taking this many strikes? Focus, and he came back with a and he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the Ooh, I'm mad about that. I knew it was bad, but there's like I can't explain it. There's like a muscle memory thing. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. And a foul ball. Good one on that changeup, barreled it up, just couldn't keep it between the lines. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Too much pop, I think. This one high in the air to left center. He's got it. Calls it in, and there's two away. Back no, I don't, Tito. Bottom four, here's the center fielder, Wyatt Lankford. That's hard hit on the line. Pulls it in, and there's one away. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, Philip Sasaki. Liner, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. The bat. Top six. Here's a big power threat. Daniel Quinn. Daniel Quinn. Lodolo back to work. Out to center. And there's one away. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Daniel Quinn. So he would have caught it. Would have. It's been such a good hitter with runners and scoring. So if he hadn't interfered, the Cubs may have. That might have changed the course of that series. Then. Yeah, that's brutal. 
with the go-ahead run at the plate here in the rubber match of this three-game series. That one way outside. Yeah, that's ball one. Am I boosted? I have to be. Yeah. See, the problem is all these new players. I have to rebuild a relationship with them to get a proper boost at bat. All loaded up, dangerous hitter to play. Base hit, one run is in. A second score is Nicely play, done. And it's a one run game. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. <laughs> and now it's Dalton Varsho. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. But yeah, Vars has not been hitting well, so. Clearly, and in bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Force out. They get the force. That ends the inning and stop. And next for Toronto, Daniel Quinn. Listen, there's I want to go with clutch. No reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Got it. And that one hops the wall. The run comes in from second, and they take a two run lead. Safe at second with a double. Beauty. Third hit for him this afternoon. Comes through with the RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And the jerk off motion. The swing for the line drive base hit. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Already three runs across in the frame here at the top of the ninth. Runner takes off. On the ground to the left. And it's through for good run. run comes in from wow, that was a good run. That's when you jump. That's perfect. Well done. Drives in the run. Just as this is a if I hadn't stolen, I got a nice little head start. Before heading back home. You go home feeling good about Solid game for us, guys. Solid. Good hits. Looking spicy. Looking saucy. Got a new equipment perk. That's it, though. And eventually they can make. Ow, oh, that's all you can make. All right, twins again, hey? But I think we're going away this time. Heading to Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. Okay, let's take a look at what's that. Equipment perk, probably absolutely nothing. Oh! Oh, Legend in a Cleat. I thought it was an actual, like, Griffey uh, cleat there. Louis Slug. I might as well sell. 10 fielding, I know it's not as good. Speed and steel, so I'll take that and I will sell it since I don't need it. Make some money. The only thing I can maybe get if I wanted to, like like I said, man, I don't think I need anything anymore. Oh, I, I could buy another bat. You know what? That's something I never thought about. My current bat's an eight and a six. If I already get a different bat, there's one that's like nine and seven. So if anything, I should be buying that now. I totally had forgotten about that. There's an eight and six. I know there's a nine somewhere. Oh, sponsorship. What is this? Oh, sorry. Wrong one. Wait, what's going on? What did I do? There's 8-6. I know it exists. Unless they... 9 and 5. Hmm. Dude, I've seen a 9 and 7 before. It might be gone.
Nine five. I know nine and seven exists. Or is it eight and seven? It might be an eight and seven. No, it's a nine and seven. There it is. That's it there. Do I have enough? I do. I have enough for this. The Jazz X Pro. Let's see if there's another color. I don't really like the color, but we'll see what else there is. Oh, there's another 97 right there. Just a classic Louisville Slugger. Okay, that's an option. It's more exp We don't have enough for that one. We have enough for this one. Not enough for this one. 97 here. We don't have enough for it. It's more of a red anyway. 9-5. I might have just to get the yellow one. I mean, I'd rather have this, the old Woody. But I guess we're going yellow. Fuck it. It'll, it'll, it'll look unique. I think 9 and 7 is the highest you can get. I forgot I my bat wasn't maxed out yet. I mean, it's diamond, but there was better bats out there. So six, wait, we weren't six and six. Sorry, this is, we were, we're currently this one, eight and six. So like I said, each one goes up one, which is awesome. So power goes to a 21 and a 17 left. So 121 right-handed uh, pitcher and then 117 left. And contact is now at a 91 left-hander and a 90 right. So, or yes, so that's great. And you, wait, can you keep the color how you want it? Like, does the color change? So the color's still black. Oh, I thought it would stay how it was. Do I want to change it up? Hold on, let me just go to appearance. Equipment style. Let's go to the bat. The default. Oh, I see. So yeah, you can make it whatever color you want. I didn't realize that. Let's make it. Oh, wait. There's only a few colors. Oh, there's not many colors. Natural grain. I didn't realize that. I, I honestly had no idea. Let's make it blue. Make Keep it black. Go with our accents. The knob. Normal axe. Axe knob. That's kind of cool. Automatic. We'll change it. Almost make it yellow to match the bat. Like... To match the tape. But I think the next thing we're going to get after this is the tape. But change the tape up a little. See, that almost looks indigo. The white actually looks kind of clean. Black, you can't even see. The yellow actually looks pretty good. I'm going to go with yellow, believe it or not. Imagine not having any tape at all. If we get different ones, we'll switch it. Okay. I think we're good. All right, that's going to really help. We're still in 94 overall. I usually like to go for contact. This will actually boost. Eh, it won't do much to it, but my plate vision is actually kind of low. No, it's not my plate vision. It's my uh, plate discipline that's lower. Yeah, see my plate dis my plate discipline is because of my that's my strikeouts. This one is oh this is out in the field. So I can increase my arm strength to a 39 with this. It's already really high, so I don't really think it's necessary. Speed and durability. Plate discipline, that's a big one. Plate discipline and clutch. My clutch is so close to going up. My clutch is at a 47 almost to 48. Fuck it, let's do that. Oh, we're playing the twins again. So we we just finished. All oh, right, I I knew that. I knew that. We're fourteen and nine. They're thirteen and ten. Kirk is hot. I'm hot. I have the best batting average in the league. And I think. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. So up next for Toronto, Daniel Quinn is hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Singler better. Hard hit left side. Good hit. It just did not work. Man, I will say number three. Their gravel looks kind of shitty. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonzo. Here comes a pitch. That's hard hit in the line. Quinn makes the play. 
Runner tags up for third. The throw in. And Not even a chance. Cut down and that ends the inning. I wonder if we should lean into our colored accents a little. Maybe go yellow. Just like lean into it, just make it. You know how all the great ones have a color that they rep? Like Vlad, like some of them. I think Vlad does like pink or something. That one missed. And some guys have those bright green shoes just to stand out. Maybe I should lean into my yellow a bit more and change the color. Hard ground ball based now. So they get a man aboard. I don't know. Normally I don't do that, but maybe it'd be neat. Blue and yellow does look good together. So now it's the four hole hitter, Mickey Moniak. And here it comes. Runner on the goal. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. I could have gone to third, man. I didn't I didn't see that. I was like, why is he running like that? That confused me. Another steal sitch, eh? Wait, wait, what's happening? Dude, the game's glitching. Needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Runner goes again. Pitch in for a strike. Go to third. I'm in. I've never had a steal situation from second to third. And now it's Dalton. They wanted me to go to third. Runner at third, two away. That's crazy. Two stolen bases. Up the middle. Oh, great. Oh, he's in. Look at that. Oh no. I thought I was in. I wasn't. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. If I had gone to third the first time and not taken that extra strike, it would have been a different story. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. Come on, Quinn. Or did they say twins? As a pitcher, you know that it's not the first time I've been. <laughs> the name's not James. <laughs> Go Blue Jays. My name's not Blue James. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing blue. My name's not James. Chase that time. It's so dumb. Out, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. The pitch. Oh, that's a popper. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One left for Toronto. Score. Hey, Coda, no worries, brother. Hope you had a good time. And next for Toronto, Daniel Quinn. One for three. Now fly ball to right last side. time I pitched was when I did that special stream in last year. Was it last year's game or the year before? I don't remember. And there are two down. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Now, Tyler Cropley. Looking at Try, Tyler properly. On base. Line, and that's a base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages Go are out. just so much higher. Bottom Man, of seventh. I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you have everything on time and in control from start to finish. Not a good decision on his part. And he's out. Daniel Power and clutch boost. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. This wouldn't be a walk off, but it would give us that insurance that we need. Oh, just foul. Just foul. Got some good Look at that power right, 121. What I like about something clutch is 89. To the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Two. Ooh, Dano. I should have looked at my, my pitcher's count. We end up losing. Wow. We needed that insurance hit. My bad. Insurance. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. Daniel Quinn. There's a ball. Way to lay off that fastball off right there. You're looking for something. Fucking you see sunlight. I can't can see handle, with this. Let's hope it doesn't move down. The discipline. 
Goodbye. Oh, this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Middle rack. A gigantic blast. And it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2 nothing. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. That was quite the home run, Siggy, as we take it in again with StatCast. 114 miles an hour off the bat. Here's Byron Buxton. Big stock center field. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, all eyes on the double right, play ball go, in this now, spot. Go. No better way to get out of this inning. Fought off foul. That could have gone either way. I had to hit it. Add and subtract. Get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Two on, one out. Way foul too high. Ball, it stays nothing in two. And he deals. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. That's unfortunate. He's got it. Two away. A little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapsing just a little bit. Here's Royce Lewis. Well. Line drive, base hit. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Wow, what a throw. Seven to two, bro. Quinn measures six feet even, only 20 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. And first offering is fouled off. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in. And oh, this one high and deep. Hard to say. It's gone. Goodbye, home run. Thank you very much, but it's a solo shot, so there's not much we can do. His second home run of the game, and they're chipping away. It's 7 3. He's swinging a red hot bat. This is And now the center fielder, Byron Buxton. Righty delivers. And a base hit up the middle. Coming home. Now a long throw home. What a throw. And like, not even close. Chance he's out. Wow, really? Was it early? Oh, Apparently it's very early. By four. Here the top half of inning number seven. What's annoying about this is that no one's out there to help me. So the only thing I can do is get on the board. Like, look, we're two outs already. Fights it off, you'll see another. Come on. Yo, Juan. It's hard. That was too close to test. That's why I wanted to at least make contact with it. Here's the 0-2. Got it. And it's a three-up, three-down in it. Blue Jays go down. That organ. <laughs> Daniel Quinn. It's so happy. Oh, Jays. my God. It's 13-5, to five, bro. In two innings, apparently, we lost, like, four, four runs or whatever it was. Scorched to center. Doesn't matter. No one's here. That is long gone. Off the foliage. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. Three home runs, but we're getting blitzed. Singing, he's I have half of our hot. runs. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. We I'm underpaid. Now I'm on a poverty franchise, apparently. 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home What do you do about it? He squared it off and knew it was gone. Quinn played brilliantly despite the loss. Blasted off for three homers in the game. Daniel Quinn will hit next. Am I boosted at bat at the very least? He makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value. How do I say hits for average? He hits both righties and lefties. Oh, look at the stop. Gavin He's got me. And they get the out. Do it for the Blue Jays. Base is empty, one away. 
Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Duran. One down, base is empty. Ripped on a line to center. Oh, Can wow. I, how did I do down, that? Oh, bases. no. Around second now, as they still don't have it. And he's got himself a triple. Shit, my bad. That's on me, 100%. Here we go now. Come on. Still up. Grand slam it. Good timing. It just fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect look that, look out. out. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Yeah, that's too high. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a ah, nice instead power. it's a pop fly. Swung on, popped up on the infield. On a good release, too. Good timing. Here's Alex Kirilov. 0 1 now. Out of line, out towards center. Grabs it on the run. Runner tags for Bad call. You should have stayed there. The plate. Puts the tag on him, and it's a double play. <laughs> Quinn measures six Missed feet. Missed my off. Only 20 years old. And he won a gold glove in 2025. That one not close. Ball one. Two outs, bases empty. And the righty deals. And strike two. Really? I was too early, wasn't I? even up on the ground Ten. To third now a jump throw no nope. time he legs it out Boogie he doesn't care how he does it he just wants to get on base and when he does that puts him in a position to do some damage put some pressure on the defense as well his wheels are truly a weapon out there rudder takes off to the right side Julian Gattis might as well keep going right the first and that well we go bottom six and now for the twins Ezekiel Duran that smacked on a line to center makes a nice grab at a full sprint all set for the start of the inning here's the center field the hot zones Daniel are over here Quinn. as the lefty gets to work that catches the zone for a strike. It's 0 1. Oker in his sixth season. He features a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a sink. Ooh. And it's strike two. Fucking sliders, bro. They're only good in burger form. The pitch. Bows that off to the left. Still early again. despite me waiting on it. That's like crazy. That have so much power. Look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in let it go, let booth, it go. That's out. Writer, better keep your eye on the game. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And a pitch. Damn the sliders. Uh, they got the win again, man. So nothing was. We did. We got a ton of homers, but just couldn't maintain the the lead or anything. You know, it just wasn't great. Okay, Pirates next. We rarely played them. Okay, one thing I want to check. I just want to entertain this. Um, like throw more yellow on it, maybe.
to see what that looks like, you know? Like, is it a bit aggressive? I think it might be. Maybe make some more accent instead of it being bl fully black. Just add some yellow here and there, you know? Just to see. Not sure if I'm going to like that at all, but I don't know. Can't change these. These are these colors stay this so they're always black, hey? Eh? Interesting. One sec. I think I'm going to switch it. Let's do like more subtle. I think all one color is a bit aggressive. So if we go to batting gear. Yeah, see, I don't like that as much. This should be yellow. And this should be black. Not sure. I mean, team colors do make sense, but... I was just saying, you know how, like, players, like, stand out? One second. I just want to... I'm just going to fuck with this. I'm probably not going to save it, but... Oof, that's ugly. Yeah, maybe not. Loose changes. I still might change a couple things, though. Like, for example... Just make it white. Because if, if I go with one of these colors... I'm going to have to change the tape color at some point. It's a lot of bands. Is there, there's a, I can't remember if there's a team default. It's better to darken. I actually don't like this sleeve with all that shit on it. I didn't realize it had all this busyness on it. The, the black is way better because it hides it more. Um, what was I doing? I think the, not the glove, but... Is this the wrong shade blue? That's the thing. Even this is the wrong shade blue. Like, they're all the wrong shades of blue. So you can't do it. That's why I usually just rep black, because it's, like, safer. If that makes sense. I mean, you could do something fun with the laces, I suppose. Nah, fuck it. It's fine. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Didn't work out the way I thought it was. Pirate time. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Toronto Blue Jays. And now for the Jays, Daniel Quinn is hit for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Foul 
That was trash. I'm not sure why I went for that. Wow. That was just early. Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe one down ball. in the dirt. And that one almost got him. Look oh, and he ball. did hit me. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Step off, throw to first. Quinn dives back in safely. Here's a 2-2. Runner on the goal. In the air, out towards right center. Rodriguez settles under it. He's yeah, got it. Too much pop. And the inning is over. And we're back as we go to the last of the third. And now for the Jays, Daniel Quinn. He did look high. Well, after scoring runs, this is well my contact left is 91. Down. I didn't even notice that. Hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing that was just late. Miss. Come on, I gotta get my average back up. I've really dropped. A couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. The pitch. Oh my God, man! I looked away. That's on me. And then I realized it was a bad. It was a good pitch. Back here in Rogers Center, all set for the. Gotta get in the game here. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. There's a line drive to left field. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. And it's strike two. No ball, two strikes. That's very wild run. Horowitz into scored position on the wild pitch, and there goes the double play possibility. On the ground, right side. It's good. To the outfield, base hit. Headed for the play. Nicely done. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. And there he goes. Cold strike three. Throw there. Safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that's still run breaks for third. Go! Oh, that's a run in, baby. Let's go. Good move. That steal put me in scoring position. That gave us that extra one. Kirky boy, five foot six feet of nothing. Get on base. So two down. Next to hit, Daniel Quinn. One for two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Around third. Shit, 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 shit. What are you doing? Go, what are you doing? Tries to get back, but he can't. Dude, he, he turned around on his own. That's insane, guys. Insane. I stopped it. I didn't even touch it, and he turned around again. Should not have been out there. Why would I keep going? It makes no sense. And ball one. Next pitch is outside. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That one's spoiled. And the count now two to one. Two down, nobody on. And it's even up. That's brutal. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Warning track. Done. And you can touch them all. Wow, that one had some pop. He made him pay for that one. Home run number 
20 on the year. It's 8-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And they'll summon from the bullpen. Beauty. Get a big out. And then had a little time to think about it. A lot of knocks. To get the final three out to this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job. Harvest left is almost at a 40. For this team. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. Man, John, once again, is... Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Sorry. John is once again like six minutes behind in stream. I don't get how that happens so frequently, bro. Is it the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit? Yeah, I did, Dan. Swung on, belted. Swinski reaching back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags it second. Man, I love that. This he advanced it. Smoked. He knew he that had to get back to the track. Back now in Toronto. On to the third inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh. Brian Reynolds. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Oh, Brian Reynolds. I thought it was Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> so you say Ryan Reynolds? Five oh, this one. And first offering is fouled off. Two out spaces empty. That's a good one, but it's a bit late. I think it might clear. Oh, it hit him in the head. Around second now, going for three. The relay throw. I'm in. He's in there. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trip. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off. Nice. The In comes the run from third. It's 5-1. Throw and it gets away. Nice. Good job. Triple for him as well. Back-to-back -back triples. That's a good sound. Ready now for the fifth inning. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. On a line out towards center. Quinn makes a nice running catch. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's how, how do you think that keeps happening, John? Because like it, it happens every stream, and you seem to be the only one who's that behind. Are you bumping space bar, maybe? Because space bar is usually pause. Forget to mention he's a former MVP. Oh, that's a good knock, man. Ah, oh, that was such a clean hit, too. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. And now nine to three, man. Come on. This is a throwaway. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. I thought I waited, but. Just foul. And a pitch. Oh, no and way did I play. swing at that. Really? Well, big power guy That's right. garbage. Two outs, runner at first. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. He's a guy who does it all. And oh, that's outside. Horowitz, the runner all I can do is try and bring us both home. And the 1 0 misses low. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Quinn started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Eric Summerskill. Next offering way off the plate. To be fair, though, you got to remember this is in game is 2026, so the rosters aren't the same. 
Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's He'll be out here anyway, doesn't matter. Full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Quinn had a good day at the office, even in defeat. I really like how he looked in this one. Uh, we got rid of all our, like, heavy hitters, so. I mean, they weren't wrong. I don't think this team can win the World Series or even get to the playoffs this year. It's hard to say. It's, it's going to be on me. for the Blue Jays. That one there you go. And it. Just cleared it. A gigantic blast. The thing is, the helmet the color changes the color, first. Tino, as like the uniform changes. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead. That will clearly some frustration. No so what you can do is equip it as team default. But the problem is some of the out some of the items you can't change. And first offering is fouled off. Two quick outs needed to get that third one. Wasn't able to do it. Now you bring up the heart of this order. You gotta find a way to get it done right here. And the righty deals. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. Ah, oh, slur was filthy. Had him way out front of the slur. Base is empty, one away. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. And a 1-1. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. He's got it. Out number two. Savali back to work. That catches the zone for a strike. One one. I'd rather not waste a hit on that. I'd rather him give me something center or in, outside more. Not that far outside, mind you. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Why I did that, I don't know. Had him way out front of the Ready to begin the eighth. And now it's Josh Naylor. That's ripped into the outfield. Quinn flashes the leather on the running catch. Clearly ready to hit right there. The but then again, I think that team, does, that color does change. So if I go team default with whatever color that might be. No! It might change it with it. At least we got the win. Yeah, could have been better. I mean, I'm not really doing anything else, so I might as well experiment because I'm not there's nothing else to really earn Dodgers team we went up against we're probably gonna get annihilated let's entertain it let's take a look excuse me so essentially if I should I think blue is essentially your alt color so if I were to go uh, batting gloves the main color, see, knuckle color is the team color, so that cycles, so that's either dark blue or this color never happens. So basically, if you do team color, if you do team default, I think that is whatever the color is at the time. Does that make sense? But then you have to deal with it all being fully blue. You know what I mean? It's almost like, is that, and that yellow strip, that's that's default to this, this, uh, Let's do something like that. See, I'm worried that if I go if I go default, see default is black. If I do team color one, if I do this, it's whatever the uniform color is. I think this is whatever your accent color is. Maybe we'll try it. I don't know. Break it. Get some more color in there. Main color will stay black. Hold on. Um, I know what color it is if I want. What even is this?
We'll try it out. We'll see how it looks. Uh, what am I doing? Batting gear still. Give that a go. I'll give it a go. See what it looks like. We can always change it back if we're not vibing with it. Because I think if you go team color team color one, that changes depending what uniform you're wearing. I don't think it's just the dark blue. I think it's just your alt color. So in this case, it'll be the blue. And then if I'm if I were to be in the powder blues, it'd be the dark blue. So I think it would switch between those two. I don't know what else I need. Those are mostly blue. Unless I do a wrist. A wrist color, I might go black. Yeah, that'll break it up. We'll go black with the wrist color. Just to kind of break up the color scheme a little bit. You see, that looks so terrible together. That's why I'm leaving it yellow. I got to get new grip tape. But I can't change it, so... Not applicable. I'd have to buy a new set. Cleats are fine. Eyewear. Trim color will be team color. Why not? I didn't even notice that. Some of these I didn't even look at. You know what I mean? Hat and helmet. Is there a color for these? No. That'll stay. Okay, I think we're good. We'll give that a go. It could look sick. Break up. Because I usually like to go alt black just because. But... Oh, yeah. See, it did do that. Okay, so yeah. It, it, it is dark. See how it's showing it's now matching that now? So it matches your alternates. So whatever your color is at the time, that's what it is. I, might, I forgot it does change it. I got my contact. I am already a 42. Plate vision's already quite good, but this will push us in. I don't think we need to worry too much about that right now. Fielding is already quite solid, so I don't need to worry. Uh, this, I can up my power to a 40 on that left side, but I, it's back control versus... It's, it's one of those fielding ones. I never bother because I tend to fuck it up. Stealing and speed. I can get my speed to a 39. Fuck, let's do it. Let's do squats. I've, I haven't done squats yet in this game. This is where you get all the cake from. Gotcha. That form looks kind of shitty from this angle. That's so unsafe. <laughs> Dude, they got the form wrong. At least from this angle, it looks very wrong. I can usually get 13 as my max. Can I get 14? Oh, I crushed out 14. <laughs> Let's go. All right, what's happening? The whole team is cold right now. Otani's on there. I'm actually kind of surprised. Freeman's there. He's good. Oh, well. Otani's at 99 overall. I never noticed that. Mookie Betts is 98. They do have some solid players. Outman is 86. Freeman. Like, they have they have some four really heavy hitters there. That's such a... It's a stacked team when you really think about it. But they're all cold, so hopefully that... And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on M... Yeah, I guess we shouldn't really tell him how to do a squat is with cake like that. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Hard ground. It's in. And that keeps the inning alive. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and 
Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now, let's see. Run around the move. And he hits a ground ball right side. Fires the first on the run. And that is that. Jay Silas. Had to go. Damn Two force outs, out. Nobody on. Chris Taylor now. The 0 1. Line drive. Quinn grabs it on the run. All eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and attack for the goal's foul. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Really? The zone, call the strike. And it's nothing in two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield Yo. is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether Walker or not Bueller is a solid one too. Hit. Walker Bueller's day off. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Ground ball left side. Oh, he fumbles it. I'm in, no. And I got an RBI in. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, Mickey Monia. Bueller looks to first. And he's back in on a dive. The pitch. Run around the goal. Fastball right back to the mound. In plenty of time to first, and that'll keep. Nothing you can do about that. Now it's going to be James Outman. James and is going to be out, comes. man. That's out to center field. Quinn makes the grab on the run. It I think I, I think coming bases down loaded, though it does set up a force at every. I think pass. I played cricket like now in elementary ball. school one time. But if you mean video game, no. It's not something I really... Oh, he messed up. I could have made it to third. I got a little confused there. Going. It's through for a hit. Runner from second. Wow, we're dominating this at bat. It's seven to two. So two away with nobody on. Here's the center fielder, Daniel Quinn. One for two. And a foul ball. Two outs, bases empty. These are low. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Oh, wow, Dano. Oh, that was disgusting. Yikey, 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 poo. But they're still on top, 7-2. to two. Oh, darn. I just refreshed the... I just refreshed to see how many members we had, and we lost some. It's always how it works. Anyway, at least we won. After that first time through the order, where it just seemed that they were off balance a little bit, but once they started really recognizing the pitches, everything started to click. Next to hit, Daniel Quinn. Yeah, I know. I've, I've always just liked this jersey length. And that one is lifted in the air. He's under it. Squeezes it. Runners tagging from second and third. He'll He's good. Sack fly, fly advanced the scoring position runner, and we got a sack fly too. So it's an RBI for me. One down, base is empty. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Quinn on the move. He's got it. And there are two outs. The 
Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, this is a great matchup that you just don't get to see. It's my number, bro. It's been my number since I was like five years old. MVP. All eyes are on this battle right here. I've been number eight. Like, I don't know. It's just been my favorite. It was my favorite when I was a kid. I'd always pick it in any sports I was in, and I have still my favorite today. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Yike. One and two. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Nice. Good contact. Perf, perf. Not a home run, but that's okay. Mickey Moniak. Next up for the Blue Jays. His first at bat was a strikeout. Shit, I'm done. To first, and they've got him picked off. Now they've got him in a rundown. Oh. They put the tag on him for the out. Play three. I hate that. Like, it's I'm on the verge of stealing. It was a steal situation, but then they end up. That misses the zone. They give you that small amount of time. It is third season. Only 20 years old. And he's a former gold glover in the American League. That one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. Two outs. That one spoiled. That he did. The count now two and one. And he deals. Swings and chases a low one there. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Swing oh my God, Dan! Why he, he just dirt. threw something like that? On That's on me. Two outs, bases loaded. Daniel Quinn. All right, grand slam coming up. Boosted power one and five two. clutch. Six power, five clutch. I want to make sure I hit it nicely. New pitcher. Insurance. Down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it. We, we know, know what, what you mean. mean. And that one fouled off. Yeah, I did that a couple of times, Darren, loaded. actually. This one, like... They are on it. One, two... This one in the dirt. Runners hold tight. It's a ball and two strikes. Yeah, there's no there's no running for that. Because the base is loaded, you have nowhere to go. Ah, oh, that's a force. Sorry, y'all. That ends the inning as they squander it. New inning getting started. Here's Mookie Betts. Looking to get the tying run on base. That smash short center. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. Here's Marcelo Zuna. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Into left center for a base hit. Solid outing from him out of the That's a dub. He's up to I'll take it. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. And there's the strike. No ball. Two out spaces empty. Um, I picked. Not running animation, but I picked a different uh, guarantee, like, you know, no doubt home run animation. That's it. The running animation's the same, though. Yikes. I deserve that, man. I'm swinging at everything right now, unfortunately. Hey, Luke. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Fazbear. <laughs> Can you imagine? Lace to right center base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear at the, here, at the plate. Center, ready to go, bottom four. And now for the Jays, Daniel Quinn. Glass now, back to work. One -oh. Way high. So, here's an interesting note on Glass now. He's been known to look at photos of people he doesn't like before his starts. It's a way for him to kind of get angry, and then he carries that anger out to the mound to help him pitch. 
That sounds like a good strategy to me, but I wonder who he's looking at. This ball's chopped on the ground. Maybe I could beat him. Yes, he pulled him off the bag. Wow. That was fortunate. Error, so it doesn't count, but I mean, it does. But I don't get the on base. Shit! Picks over and he breaks for a second. Oh, ah. run down now. This shit again. <laughs> it's not possible. Oh, he faked it out. Oh, he got me that time. Uh. I say a little anxious over there at first. Really quick feet by the pitcher to get it over quickly to the first baseman, and then after that, and at the plate for the I don't think you understand, Ice, how easy it is to mess up because the thing is, you have to base. So right when you're about to go, um, you basically can retreat or whatever. And right when he's about to throw it, that's when I usually commit and start to start. But right as I didn't be, been doing that lately, I tap it. And right as I realize it, he then runs the other direction. But once you tap it, it doesn't matter if you hold back. He goes anyway. So you might want to be like, oh, shit, no, 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 go, go back. It won't. It'll, it'll keep to that initial tiny tap. So if you make a slight mistake, it's not as easy just being like it's so easy to tell that he's, you know what I mean? There's like, there's like a... That one ripped. There's like a small window, very small window, but if you mess up, the results are very dramatic. Grand slam it. I gotta promise that. Why am I swinging at that? Stop. That was ugly. In the dirt. And one and one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Two, one. Next pitch misses way outside. Glasgow's Three gotten me a few times. Piece, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Gotta find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Slider misses outside. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Yeah, I think mine's this one blasted the other way. Shit. Down the line. I think I'm, that's another thing I got to consider is my glove. I should really focus on fielding gloves, not so much. I think, I think mine's all pitching. And a run comes in to score. So now it's the four-wheel hitter, Mickey Monia. Well, all tied up again, and that's a pretty rough way to give up a lead. It's just kind of a I should really look into that because I remember when I bought these, I think I realized I made them. I'm like, ooh, there might have been ones that were better. But my fielding is at 14, so I think it's really good. I don't think, like, the sorry, it's got a fielding boost of 14. The pitch. I was having problems with the sliding. Sometimes it still doesn't slide, but there have been some updates recently, so I'm hoping hoping that's what happened. But I make sure I'm not touching the left stick when I slide in. That's trash. Look at that boost he gets. You see that little? I would have beat him. I think. We swept the Dodgers, bro. Really. First game of this series really had a determination to play fundamentally sound baseball. Anyways, um, I'm gonna check. I'll, when I come back, I'll, I'm probably gonna forget. I'll do it first then, um, because I know I'm gonna forget. I got, I'm gonna grab my lunch, but um, I'm gonna check the because. I'll check the, uh, the 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 glove options just to see if we've got like what's best for us right now or if we should save up. I'm pretty sure uh, based on my I think I did think of that or I took it into account. I really did look at fielding. I just think that there was, it was like there's some gloves you sacrifice fielding for other things like and instead of sacrifice pitching boosts, which we don't need. Um, it really just depends. Shit, what am I doing? Sorry. Um. Okay, let's take a look. So, yeah, see, we have this has a fielding 11 arm. So, you want fielding, arm strength, and accuracy. That's really what you want out of this. And this is what I have now the Under Armour Flawless. 
See, that's what I'm saying. It's got K9 and H9. What, is, what, are the K, what does K9 mean again? I forget. K slash 9. Baseball. Strikeouts per nine innings. Okay, right. So that's a pitching stat. That's what I thought. Hits per nine. So, yeah, those are both. I think the thing is, though, I don't think they have anything that's higher. Um, Because I think they all help. Like, for example, here's a fielding glove that's better. It does have... See, so you set, you have you have better accuracy. You get an eight accuracy and an extra one into fielding. But arm strength is not in here. Stamina is up ten. Whereas this, yeah, you know what I mean. So you're like, okay, well, I have stamina now, but then I have other pitching ones that I don't need. I mean, the Easton one has a fielding of ten, so I lose one. Um, the arm strength is up nine, versus this one, which is seven so it's like this might might actually be better now that i'm looking at it but it's got pitching clutch versus mine honestly overall i'd say you're right this might be better our fielding is at a 10 so we'll lose it so maybe i should save up and get the easton the easton bregman because fielding and arm strength accuracy is up there so like basically your arm strength goes up two and your accuracy uh, accuracy goes up one and the other two stats don't matter. So this one has, if we lose one in a fielding, but we gain three more stats elsewhere. So really, I think this should be my next target is the Easton Bregman. Based on those stats, it just makes the most sense. However, if you look at the Mar 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 Marucci, excuse me, the happy face glove, if you look at it, fielding 10, so it's the same, but it's got an arm and arm, strength, accuracy, and stamina boost. This one's eight, so 10, eight, eight, nine. Whereas this one's a 10, 9, 8. So it's almost like, hey, do you want your stamina to go up? No, stamina. No, sorry. Stamina is a pitching stat. Sorry. Stamina is a pitching stat. My bad. So we don't need that. So realistically, yeah. So honestly, I think we want the Easton Bregman. I think we'll save up for the Easton Bregman. I should have looked into that when I bought it. But if you look at it, my, my, mine was a lot cheaper, the 89. It still works. But one fielding versus arm strength and accuracy, you're not going to notice that. Anyway, I'll be right back. Just grab a food and we'll continue. Hang tight.
All right, what's up, bitches? <clears throat> Konnichiwa, bitches. All right, what's happening here? Okay, so I've had my, this DX Racer. I've been a sponsored, I've been with DX Racer for years now. So, like, you know, they've been a sponsor of the channel. And I've had this particular chair. They don't even make it anymore. Um, I've had this chair since 2016 or 17, I think. I have to look. Maybe 18. And so I have this. Okay. This handle. This goes on the reclining thing. Okay. And the problem is, you see that little hole? There is a little screw that goes in that keeps it on the lever. I don't know where that went. I think when I moved this here, it got lost in the move. And the screw is so tiny. All it is supposed to do is tighten and just hold it on. I have yet to find a screw that'll work. To be fair, I haven't looked that hard. But this always falls off. And every time I move my chair, if there's a, like a forward momentum, it flips off. So I literally just have to constantly just slide it back on. <laughs> but it's just raw dogging it there. I don't know. I would really like to fix that at some point. But <laughs> I don't know. They don't, make the, they don't make the chair anymore. So the X-Racer chair is very different now. Very, very different. I don't know. I have got oatmeal with um, fruits, uh, like strawberries, um, pecans, almonds, and what else is in here? Another berry I'm not sure of. Everybody, glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Bit of natural Chris protein Wonka action. having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in. Daniel Quinn. So two down. It's all homemade stuff, too. Daniel Mel's been making a lot of it lately, so. It's always clutch. Swings and sends a right now. to the right. Makes the catch in and over. Good knock, but too good. Down in order go the Blue Jays. If you will. Now the Tigers get. What you looking at? You should say that every time. No. Hey, let's go, big fella. He's right here. Yes, of course I have. We actually had... Oh, sorry, that's the other ingredient. <laughs> that's the other ingredient. It's bananas. <laughs> it's strawberry banana. That's so funny. Good night. Home run. That's literally the other fruit that's in here. But there's a berry in here as well. I think it's a raisin. Yeah, they're raisins. No. Dried cranberries? Yeah. I think the freeze dried cranberries. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off <laughs> the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch account. He's gonna need to get some quick outs. He's yeah, the pe peaches and cream game. was my jam when I was now a kid. A into the like outfield. you know the Quaker. Oh no. He scores, it's 4-3. I am so sorry. Yikes. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a very nice approach and swing right Favorite there. Favorite cereal. A big part of the field. Every I know I might sound like an old man. And just launched that one into center. But my two favorites are Quaker granola and uh, mini wheats. Fuck. Granola's the shit. Beautiful drive, knock. And that should be extra bases. Horowitz. Yeah, Brad. Round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. The relay. Safe. I could have maybe gone third, but I just wanted to save it. And picks up an RBI. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the I've loved Granola since I was a kid. Absolute gangster. Right Mickey Moniak. 
Now back. One out right and a runner at second. Mickey. I like any like I, I like sugary cereals. I don't really, really. Back here in Detroit, ready to go. But yeah, any any like sugar cereals that don't even fill you, I think they're kind of pointless. Like my favorite when I went for a long time was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But there's nothing to it. Again, lower calorie than granola, let's just say. But it has so much sugar in it. You know, that kind of stuff has so much sugar in it. And everyone just looks at the cal Like, we're going back to what we were talking about at the start of the stream. Everyone just looks at calories, and that's it. I used to do that. Well, he just took one away from one of the best in the league. It's not going to happen very often. Here's the center fielder, Daniel Quinn. He's already homered here in this one. Nice knock, good contact, but it. I think he's chasing it. Chase it, chase it. Yes. And it's off the wall. One run is in, coming home. He'll score as well. Nice, man. Look at those RBIs. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Showed off some really nice awful pop with that swing and just couldn't get it over the fence. I love that. I've been making some good knocks out here. Everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. My family, my parents were so against sugary cereals, though. One down. I mean, I use that term lightly. Next up for the Blue Jays. I remember I, the first time I had, I'm not even getting you, the first time I ever had Lucky Charms was when I was like 15 or 16 years old because my parents would never get them. Oh, it was an error. Maybe, maybe not. There was one, okay. Here's the thing. My parents went, the only sugary cereal they'd buy was Fruit Loops because it was made with like real fruit or whatever they, they I don't think it was. And sometimes they'd go with Frosted Flakes because my dad liked it. Um, I remember one time as a joke, my brother and I, with my mom and we're shopping for groceries and just as a joke, we just started putting in a fuck ton of, um, a fuck ton of like cereals in, in the cart, like we're like kind of sneaking them in, right? We're just trying to see how many of these cereals we can get away with. And my mom figured it out quickly and she pretended not to see. And we kept adding them. We kept adding like all sorts of shit we weren't allowed to have, like, you know, um, like anything you can think of, like Sugar Crisp and uh, Lucky Charms, all that stuff, like the anything like chocolatey and sugary and all that shit and we're putting it in and eventually she's just like ah just go ahead and she let us get every single one of those cereals and I think we put maybe eight or eight to ten different ones in there that was the first time I had Lucky Charms I might have been like 13 or 12 no 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 I was younger than that it might have been like 11 I think I was like 11 but that was a, that was a fun memory so I, I was just like okay we lived like kings for those few weeks. <laughs> we ate like kings. Anyway, Alan, sorry I missed you. Thanks for being a member for the last 36 months, my friend. Much appreciated, bro. And that was one of the Maple Jacks. That's one of the ones we picked up. Even ones we didn't even necessarily want, we just threw it in the cart. It was funny as fuck. And that one fouled off. And now the one. And a foul ball. Hey, Gemma. Hey, Swift. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Right hander kicks deals. Look ah, poopy pants, McGee. Really Caught. That and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole. And that's that. You can hit the ball like that with good exit velo. The better off you're gonna. Still one. In a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain Honestly, this momentum, and you think that you're never gonna lose a game again because things are clicking up and down. Just going to the shredded. I know it's not the same thing. Is making the plays defensively. Play the game. This is the kind of feeling. Um, shreddies. Shreddies are clutch. As long as you Honey shreddies can. are good. Perhaps push it up. Five RBIs. Minutes. Holy. Like the I remember the first time I had regular sh shreddies was on an airplane. I'd never had regular shreddies before. Because I thought it was like an adult cereal. And I'm like, here, sit like 13 or 14 years old. And that's all they had. So I'm like, these are actually fucking good. Got 
Gracias, Albaino. The old one. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. There's a high chopper. I can make it. And that chance handled. Yet he beats the throw. He's safe. Let's go. You down with OBP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OBP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OBP? Yeah, you know me. Who's down with OBP? This whole Jays team. You down with OBP? Yeah, you know me. And he's back safely. Come on, come on, come on. Let me show you what it's all about. Didn't matter. I might as well try. Skadoosh. Out in the left center for a line drive base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Poopy, 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 poopy pants. Yeah, I didn't know that. When you go to the uniform selection, you can like literally dress in the most ridiculous fits you want. It won't make any sense. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, See this color scheme? I like the dark blue. The navy does look clean because it somewhat matches these socks because I can't change the color of the socks. Oh, that's a beauty. Keep going. Ah, you penis. Single or better? No, let's, yeah, let's do single. Contact. And he was selected for the all This sack of hot year. garbage is from Canada. And there's a foul you know, ball. Ziggy, you know I'm a dork. Canada is above the United oh, States. Now. Wow, boo. Swinging <laughs> a foul back. That's out of play. One run across in the frame so far. And we're at the top of the fifth. You know, that was a really, really nice uh, hit he had there. Good job to him, or as our friends in the north say, oh, fuck yeah, bud. However you say it, we know what you mean. <laughs> oh, sorry. And he deals. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs. And that just misses. I'm actually curious to know that know that answer too, Coda. Ah, that's inside. No! I mean, I like them, but I don't need them because they're not good for you. And they weren't something that, again, those are some of those things my parents bought that we just never had. Hey, Thomas. Quinn tracks it down for the out. Here comes the why would he? Why would he do it? There's the tag. They get him. And Big mistakes. The so up next for Toronto. The old one. I'm boosted. Power of three. six. That was it. What am I thinking? That was it. That was my hit. I don't know. I was sleeping on D. Now I'm not going to get a pitch that good. Insurance. Dude, I was just quoting it earlier, and they, they, they don't have enough dialogue. It's such a weird... Oh, drop, 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 drop. Suck my ass. Ah. I think he would have been able to bag up. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Riley Green. The pitch. Insurance. Line drive. It's not like it's that much of a difference, so that's what I don't understand. Green grabs it on the run. Really Get nice some insurance. Out. First out of the ball game. Insurance. 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 It's so similar. It's like he gives a fuck. Why are you pointing that out? And this guy is at the top of the list. 
Oh, that's anus. Leo Wan. Lantigua, the lead runner out at second. Horowitz at first, two out of the inning. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Hogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can trash the mechanics, but the thing that you can wait, am I boosted? Yes. Five and four. Game is Power clutch, respectively. Defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Your mom. I can't handle PCI, Hippo. And the righty deals. My eyes don't accommodate, and I focus so much on watching and getting the ball to line up with it. With the PCI anchor, I can't watch if it's out of the zone. I don't have a successful enough vision for it. It's in. Hammer down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. One run is in. Around third. The relay to the plate. In there. Safety. Nice. It's 8 1. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Runner breaks for third. There's a I'm not going to make it. Oh, I did make it. Wow. Two gone with runners at the corners. Here's Luis Arias. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And that's a pop up. Oh, it's good. Wow. I'll take it. The O one. Not bad to be made. <laughs> Just gotta combine the two. Oh my god, it's twelve to one, bro. I mean it is Detroit. Very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Trash. Let's go. Caught. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. Yikey poos. So he blasts one out the other way. His 150th career homer. And they add to the lead. It's 14 1. <laughs> it's like, don't you hate it when you get in a car accident and you don't have your documents? You could say that your document's not about to be ready. <laughs> Welcome well, you should have signed up for bullpen, some insurance. You know no matter how you say it, again. we know what you mean. Don't lose your bracelet. You don't have to sacrifice your wrist and your hand. Be ready. Get insurance. So stupid. Like all these things that are repeating all the time. Daniel Quinn. We don't get tired of them at all. You know? That one a little bit high. And that's ball one. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. It is a rough city, but it's getting better. Yeah, like, you, I'd say about 10 plus years. 10 to 20 years ago was absolutely the worst. No. Ball Walker. Watch him speed up. Look at the speed. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting four. The right field. Mickey Money. Bottom of the second. Brian Jeffers at the plate. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Quinn pulls it in on the run. Man, that orange looks good. Gavin Sheets up now for the Tigers. That's out to center field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Throw into third. There's the tag. They get I don't know why they try. They're not fast enough, and I'm, I'm so close. I can appreciate the effort, but it's not going to happen because they're not about to be ready. Home run coming up. Right through there for a strike. The two hole hitter showing so they much about to be ready. understanding the situation gets on base with two out to bring possibly the best hitters in this lineup up to the plate in this inning. Foul ball. The Owan. Horowitz leads off first with two down to the inning. And down on strikes he goes. Just kidding. That's the third out. 
David Kelly up now for the Tigers. And a pitch. Ripped on a line. Got it. Quinn racing over to make the catch. Man, that's one of those. That... The at bat. And first offering is fouled off. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. Hard hit left. Damn side. it! Zips it across, and that'll do it. Nothing doing. Ready to begin the eighth, and now the center fielder. Daniel I need to hit Quinn. something. Mata back to work, and a foul ball. Mata goes six feet three inches. He features a four seam fastball, a cutter, a curve, a changeup. Ah, oh. baseball can be cool, can it? I mean, sometimes. Man, I'm getting my ass whooped out here in street hoops. Ryan Jeffers up now for the Tigers. Now, a high fly ball out to left center. Quinn sizing this one up, brings it in. Runner tagging for third. Done mistake. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the end. Here's the center fielder, Daniel Quinn. Golden opportunity right here. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides. I need, I need it. About as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Right I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to Yeah, it's not very common that you do, Darren. Pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. There it is. There's your home run, boy. Grand slam. Grand slam. Perfect, perfect. It's gone. Good day, sir. And I promise to drive in all the runners. Look at all that clutch boost. And they boost their Damn. Line. It's 8-2. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. <laughs> well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing. All right, well, that's another win. That's our seventh win, I think he said. He was just going on about lucky numbers and shit. Let's see what equipment we got. The Phillies, the brotherly love motherfuckers who aren't that nice. Yes, I did, Tino. I got that bat. Oh, there's another one. Tear. Insurance. Sorry. <clears throat> Evo Shield has a cool logo. I do like it. Fuck is it? Add a zero electric plus. What do those even look like? They're exactly the same. They probably look better. They don't even have images. How am I supposed to know what these fucking look like? They're exactly the same. There's no Jordans though, man. What do they have against Jays? I remember I used to just buy them all the time. This A6 one is actually, wait, 14 and 10. 14, 10, reaction, stamina. 14, 10, 8. 14, 10, 8. 14, 10, 8. 14, 10, 8. 14, 10, 8. 14, 10, 8. It's the same. So if I wanted to ever change my shoes. A6, I don't like their logo. I've never liked it. It's just too busy. Mizuno's a little better, but it's not as good. These apparently are the best. The most expensive. Like, these just look different. I, I mean, they've been added. I don't even know what they fucking look like. Like I said, there's no image. Here, let me look. Add a zero. Stop it. 
Add a zero. Uh, electric. Plus. Let's see. Not bad. Oh, that's football. Let's try baseball. Not bad. Eh, kind of funky. I don't mind. They're actually cleaner. Ultra boost. A lot nicer. Nah, like, actually, no, I don't like those. Just kidding. Depending which one you're looking at. Oh, that's a women's ultra boost. That's a running shoe. Okay, the cleat looks decent. The running shoe looks fucking weird. The cleat looks okay. Okay, what about impact plus? I'm accessorizing. Not bad. Impact plus looks okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth buying a whole new sneaker for, though. You know what I mean? I think they're better than what I've got. What's interesting is what I've got looks actually pretty good from a profile. My plate vision can go up. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do plate vision. Let's get that cranked. I hate that I, his arm clips through the thing. I need baseballs. Dude, they're not giving me any baseballs. This is fucking stupid. Oh, I couldn't get that one. It would, I would hit the paper. Two for one. Almost got them all. I missed one. Wow. Philly is got some stars. Brandon Marsh the Darsh. Harper's a 90 overall. Alec Bohm, 84. They got 86s. They got some good players. 80, couple 86, 89 for Trey Turner, but he's cold. Bryce Harper's their best. But if you look at my squad, 94, 84, 85. Eight, my, I will say Varsho and Kirk are getting better. Their overall has gone up. We have a lot of 70s, though, man. That ain't, that ain't winning anything. Here in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And next for Toronto, Daniel Quinn. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could... ...thrive in one of those sports, too. And that one fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right they side. They didn't say anything about my 150th homer. Or did and they? I don't know. I might have missed it. And can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Wouldn't no chase that up. time. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. First and second here, no outs. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand Damn it. his own. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it.
He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off oh, no. tough pitches. And there's a the ball. Gets a piece. Good timing. He just stays alive. fouled it again. The kick, the three, two. And, and he walks me. Up. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches. No outs. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the Oh, he messes it up. He messes it up. Go. Pick it up cleanly. The run Damn, that's bad. It's two zip. Two runs come in, and now I'm at, in scoring position. No outs yet. Behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Ground ball right side could be two. Harper over to second. They get the out, but the run scores. What do you mean? Like the stories? And the slider just misses. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Just missed. 2 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out. Ooh, my bad. A swing and a it looked miss. like it was going wa inside, but it... He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Yikes, Dan. Swing and a miss. Nice I'm giving him this. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. I deserve that. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using. And now here is Harper. And that one is lifted in the air. Quinn on the move. And there's two away. So two down, and now it's Elias Diaz. Line drive, base hit. Boom. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The throw in. And he's out. That clipped through a bunch of guys. I want to hit the Liberty Bell. Back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the like that one, really not the real one. Outing nicely. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Comes up empty as he chases. Oh man, I might beat him. Diaz down to first. Oh, I almost beat him, bro. That was one of the few chances. And now Daniel Quinn. <laughs> Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate. I'm struggling at the well plate right now, though. Well, it's because I'm, it's a, I'm exactly. reaching for shit. I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. <laughs> These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really Still sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. The 1-1. Fought off foul. Part of the old one now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage and Here another ball and this is inside good take Close pitch there and he's kind of wondering where it missed you know getting a feel for each umpire strike zone is something nice pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from a bat to a bat. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. Two on, one out. On the ground to third. That's a double play. Over to stop for one. What a double play that was. Getting over. So it's one. This is Bryson Stott. Tying run at the plate. That one is absolutely belted. Back 
I'm from Edmonton. Looking pretty dangerous in the dish right now. Johan Rojas in Alberta, in for the Western Canada, the forgotten province. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And that I might, I actually might have been able to get it, but he's out here. No, he's not. Wow, <clears throat> they can't score another run, bro. We got one though. Clutch time. That's mine. Line out towards center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And now it's Alec Bohm. And he deals. Line drive. Got it. Brings it in with a nice running grab. But a big turn of events here in the ninth as we are again all knotted up. We're all tied up 5-5. Daniel Quinn digs in now. He's a guy who does it all. and misses at the initial offering. Good, Good pitch that? right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And here it comes. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And it's second. That one no, misses. That's Ball one. Barker on its second with two down. Foul ball still a one and two count. And on second, two down. Got it. Standing over, and it could have been worse. So they scratch it. We'll see if we can hold off. Yeah, we did. All right, good. Off eight wins in a row. You're this close to double digits, and now all of a sudden it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to ten. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that this team is playing at right now. They just aren't, Tyler. Come on. Here's a big power threat. Daniel Quinn. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy... I've noticed you've been a lot more antagonistic to me lately. Did I do something to hurt you? Slugging too. Double play ball to second. Off balance feed. There's Not one. in time. And he'll eat it and be happy with the out. Runner at first for two away. Mickey Moniak. Next up for the Blue Jays. Nolan throw to first. And he's back in on a dive. Two outs. There's a swing. Just go. Castellanos ranges back. On the warning track. And hauls it in. Back here in Philadelphia. Now it's the power speed combo. Daniel Quinn. Gets him to chase. I hate those ones. Certainly doing his very they look like I'm just it's when I get lazy, you know, I get lazy at the plate. That one fouled off. The wind in the pitch. And ball one, one. That one missed. Right hander kicks deals. Foul ball, another two -two Good release, coming. just not on target. Hard 
hit right side. Doesn't matter. I'm not making that. McNeil gets it to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. And now it's Alec Bohm. Bohm in his sixth season, 29 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Smug on, Belton. Quinn going back. Got it. played him as a player the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm I also think about the speed if he can get on that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about Quinn tracks it down for the out one hit in the inning a solo homer we played four it's the Phillies Good night. That's two. We're within. We're close to tying. He circles the bases and they throw a pair on the board. It's three-two. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat. Boy. Aggressive and it paid off. One down and now the center fielder Daniel Quinn. He's already homered here in this one. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Hard ground ball, base now. And that puts I'll take the it. tying run on base. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. He's got plus speed, but in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. And there's a base hit. Here comes the throw. Runner around third. On his I'm in. Tied it. Let's go. Tied game here in the eighth. Picks himself up in RBI. Just a solid swing. That was pretty. I'm gone already. And that was one of those slow ones that I think he missed. He didn't miss it, but he couldn't get it back. We still lost. Oh, why Sim do a loss at that point? That's so rude. Whatever. That was a long series, wasn't it? it seemed to be anyway. Oops, what did I do? Oh, that's what I did. Okay, who are we up against? The Mets. Darren, I'm sorry, bro. I'm 95 overall, finally. I was wondering when I'd hit that. No, not tomorrow, bro. Uh, weekends are off for me. Saturday, Sunday. Usually, I'm not here. Mondays to Fridays. Most of my audience, I find, is uh, Daniel Quinn. Next up for the you know Jays. UK, Europe. Singy, getting home from work. Evening. MVP in this spot. In the year, not enough power. Ranging back, makes the grab, and that's the inning. But you get the North American crowd too. I, uh, I don't do I want a contact not really I don't like them but maybe I should try just to get the contact and a foul ball I've gotten a few home runs off contact so I know it's possible two down nobody on to the right side Mauricio the throw to first and that's the third out Contact swings suck, though. I mean, well, no, they're not. They don't. It's just. And now the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Tracks it down for the out. And a quick out, number one. On the ground. Same thing to short, bro. That's so irritating. Plenty of time to first, and there's two down. Two out, space is loaded. Damn, power nine clutch eight. They want me to hit a grandy on this. Dude. 
I want you guys to understand something right now. My power is at a 118 on the left, so that's a 17 or 127 is my power right now. Oh, what a waste! That's no good. Yikes! It's a close game, Darren. Nothing set in stone yet. Don't make it. Oh, he's going to make that. I think he's going to make that. It's going to be close. Got him. We won. Not the Miracle Mets today. Daniel Quinn will hit next. <sighs> <laughs> Yikes. Got him upstairs. Pitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the alley. Oh, I regret that. I knew it was off. second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. At the belt and fires. Maybe it might have some carry. Go. Yes. Those ones you can usually tell. It's three nothing. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. Can you imagine, Darren? It's like, wow, I dreamed of this my whole life. Maple syrup. Free health care. These are smells I'm not I wasn't expecting in the States. <laughs> Damn it, I've gone to Toronto again. <laughs> Accidentally ends up in Toronto. Why is everyone so fucking nice here? Swing and a ball lined out towards to be center. fair, it's the people in like Quinn Toronto area are, are kind of like the New Yorkers of Canada. I'm not saying New Yorkers are rude. I don't Jack get me wrong. I'm not Peterson saying that, but there's a bit of an attitude towards them. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. And first offering is fouled off. Because we want you to be comfortable while you're here, Darren. <laughs> I mean, Iron, sorry. Not Darren. Ignore my saying. Sorry about that. Sorry, I got your name there wrong. But sorry about that. Sorry about that. Get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been Just made it up. Excuse to apologize. Stays alive. In Canada, when we hear the song, Is It Too Late to Apologize? We don't know what that means because that's never happened. Misses outside and a count one and two. Nice knock, drop, drop. Drive and a base hit up the middle. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And a swing. Sh uh, oh. Did they, though? He didn't touch the bag. Whatever. And first offering is fouled <laughs> off. Nick, you were like the rudest guy I've ever seen in my life, so. <laughs> Nick, what you said right there, very offensive. You lived in New York your whole life? Man, what a prick. <laughs> oh, too early. Bases loaded, powers at six, boosted. Grand Salami coming up, big play. I got to do it to Darren's Mets just because he rubs me the wrong way. Insurance. Insurance. 
We know what you mean. Hope I don't eat those words. I think ultimately you want to tie him. They not off, bad to be baby. In on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it one, to the two. outfield. Ball one there. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. No! Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Damn it! Whoa, Grand man. slam ops. You can't the waste them. Here's Jack Peterson with the tying run at the plate. Boo this the man. <laughs> Boo! That one ripped. And there's a Oh, I didn't make it. I thought he was it's running to third. Complete. I should have thrown so it to second. That was it changed the throw to throw to I don't know. Alright, another grand slam Jays. opportunity. Power of He's nine. They're like, dude, how game. many that times do we have to boost you? Oh, and it's Just rubbish! Dicks. Thomas makes the grab. Man. That is that. I just want to dominate. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. All right, we just got to defend. One strike away. Base hits That's it. Lindor zipping around that's it, man. I'm about to win it for us. Home. Good night. Tag. Got him. And that's the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. So two down. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Out of line, out towards center. Ah! Snags it on the run. On the run. Wait, why is my bat pink? What the fuck? Bro, my bat's... Oh, it's Breast Cancer Month. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I forgot. It's fair. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. When's Breast Cancer... What is that? High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. Bangs off the wall. Go! Going for three. The throw to third. Fuck! Trying for three. Absolutely perfect. It looks like Easter with this yellow and <laughs> pink and yellow situation. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. And another ball. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. I got to hit a dinger for titties. And in the name of all. And that one fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Mirkovich! Still two and two after the foul ball. Yeah, Patrick and SpongeBob, yeah. That's true. And now the lefty. Ah! <clears throat> Sorry. Power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. And we're back. Now the number two hitter, Drew Gilbert. Now a screamer into the outfield. Quinn makes the grab on the run. All right, I got to ding this. Liner, That's very second. against breast cancer, bro. What's the matter with I mean, yeah, we go. No, I mean, they still drive yeah, uh, yes, good. Fuck breast cancer. That's right. It's against it. Fuck him up. We don't want that. Get it out of here. This ball represents breast cancer and it's gonna get out of here. It's gonna get out of here. I'm telling you. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta calm down. Gotta calm down, sink some putts. And another ball. I gotta tie this. I got someone at second. I really need to ding this. Am I boosted? Yes. One and one, not much. Hey, one and one is enough. 
Fuck this low shit. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I kind of like the pink bat, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. I kind of want to set all my kit to pink now. This whole stream has been about accessorizing. Go, go, go! Yes! Ooh, trippy. I got a triple and he managed to come home, so that was good. No outs. So good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Round ball, left side. That's bad luck. And one away in the bottom of the seven. Interesting, interesting where that ball went. Here's Luis Arias. Come on, Luis. On the ground to third. No double play. Out at the play. Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. I sent all the blood to my head. That really hurt. Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Here's Rowdy Telez. That one is absolutely. Gotta catch, gotta catch, gotta catch, gotta catch. I got it. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. All right, man. Here's the center field. The winning run. It's gone, bitch. Walk it off. Good night, sir. Walking it off for titties, baby. Let's go. Don't require that. Sensational day, capped by the walk-off. Had three hits, one of them a homer. This is the kind of game he'll never. I believe they call that Darren in house cleaning a sweep. Ah ah ah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Up next is the Red Sox, division rival. Okay. Honestly, bro, I want to see how it looks. Oh, they don't have it. They don't have regular pink? Why not? I want to rock pink. Apparently not. Fine. Shit on my dreams. All right, guys. So I know we're only at the four hour 40 mark. We have a long series. This might be my last one. My last series of the stream. I might call it early. I think I feel like I want to take it. Shave an hour off. I'm not so sure I'm vibing with Rogers it. Roger Center in downtown Toronto. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Nick York up next for the Red Sox. Is this guy like, was he just brought up to the majors? That one is absolutely belted. And oh, I just missed races. it. That's, the throw it. Third. Why did it stop? Man, I literally held he it. That's such trash. One nothing. <laughs> Two outs, like he bobbled it and, and then I'm like, let's go. 
First offering misses badly for ball one. Good knock. Right keep going, keep going. He's got it. Brings it in, and that's the inning. The O one. Man at first, and stepping in for Boston, Nick York. The one two. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, the tag out. <laughs> Red, thank you very much for the gifted. Uh, much appreciated, my friend. One left for Toronto. Working our way back up to that 400 two, mark. Start of the fourth, digging in. Sedane Rafaela. Charge. Out towards right center field. Quinn sizes this one up. He's got it. And a quick out number one. Base is empty with two away. And next for the Red Sox, Trevor Story. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. No, you're good, Red. I appreciate it, man. All right, let's see what's up you like right here. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. Never worry Only about that. A double play in this spot. Fall off foul. Blue Jays down a run as we play game one of this four-game series. And a big swing and a miss. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really... Joey Manessis, the next to hit. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit, base hit. The throw home. Runner around third on his way to I got so much power, it's crazy. There's a few actually, Tino. There's a few that we're not showing. There were three different ones that weren't showing an image. And first offering is fouled off. Hendricks in his 13th season, 37 years young. And he was selected to the All-Star game last year. And that's downstairs and outside. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you wanted to play. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole. Runner on the goal. Lifted in the air, right field. Soto gets under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Bit aggressive. And there are two outs. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. So two down, Alejandro Kirk. Next up for the Blue Jay. And there he goes. That one out to right. Soto sizing this one up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Blue Jays. Well, a four-pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out that there. That sucked. After throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitters, being very the efficient. Four, four, and this is what you want to do. You want to come uh, next out. major game. game. I mean, we got some coming up. A lot of them are indie titles, though. I don't really. I have to double check my Here's list. Sorry, I can't remember offhand. This is empty. Lined in the left center, base hit. Oh fucking hell! Really? That's really irritating. As Sir oh, takes a brother up with a super chat as well. He's gonna make it to third. Thank you, man. Let's go. One of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. He didn't smoke that ball. Daniel Quinn. Much love, brother. Leading the AL in batting average. And that's a fly. Ball to right center. Soto gets under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. And 
first off, just late. I'm surprised. At what point does the contact become so good that it's irrelevant? You know? Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance. No. And it is foul. Hey, Hunter, how's it going? The Blue Jays yet to pick up a hit here. Yeah, Dead Allen DLC comes out, I believe, on the 17th. Swing and a miss struck him out. Up with it, fires to first. In time. So the drop third. And welcome back to the ballpark. New I'll have to double check that. But. So stepping in for Boston, Santiago Irizarry. Now a screamer into the outfield. Quinn makes the grab on the run. Christian Robinson now. This is a big stadium, really, isn't it? Righty delivers. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And that gets down for a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Throw into third. Not today, bro. And he's out. Down and that and that's another it. one from Serge. Thank you, man. You try to take third with two outs, but that outfielder had perfect technique and the throw was on Yeah, the, all the Adidas ones that are diamond, you know, they're the exact same stats. They're all the same. So the ones I have on are the same, too. We're back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Jays, Daniel Quinn. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Jays need to bring up the quality of their... I feel like the Jays need to be wearing Jays. Swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not nope. happening for them so far. One Zero one. extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. High fly ball lifted in the air. I think that's right a foul. Field. So oh, he caught it. Nice run and catch. Runner Damn. First with two away. Daniel Quinn next up for the Blue Jays. I got to hit something, bro. This is getting old. First pitch doesn't find the zone. We're going to foul over the screen and back out of play. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, you? not as a fan. You? I haven't been to many games, as a, many fan. games as a fan. Two outs. Ball inside. Oh my god, come on. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. Just missed. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. One strike away. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. This is the last out that they need. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Come on. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And he walks me. That's what they wanted, honestly. That's a great at-bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Good knock. Coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. He will score, and they're on the board. Wow, we caught a break. Here's Luis Arias. We have a lot of work to do, for real. No out, please. Get a big dinger. That's a force out, guys. Damn. Quinn had the kind of game you'd like to avoid, which contributed to the loss. This is a game he'd rather forget. I mean, everyone contributed to the loss. He needs to jerk one off in the shower and do better. <laughs> Center. Perfect. Dies. What a play. So two away with nobody on. And next for Toronto, Daniel Quinn. Ball what on a there. <laughs> Up 
off and in ball two. What's up, Bobby? Two out spaces empty. That one spoiled and they count now two and one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays. Sacrificed a bracelet. Sacrifice my wrist and my hand. Was my wrist and my hand. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Fuck. Good timing and everything. It's just a fly. Under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the blue. Back here at Rogers Center, stepping in, Daniel Quinn. I gotta hit something. We're four runs up, but I, I've been on a hitting slump. Crawford, back to work. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think Cutter Crawford's his name. That's pretty crazy. A little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Oh, and two now. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> Gets a piece and stays alive. One, two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Mother bitch. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. In the dirt, and the count is even two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. And yeah, the righty deals. Good My God! That one off. Okay, one time, right now, kid. Here we go. Kicks and deals. The punch out there. What? Didn't make it easy for him on the mound. That's out. Still get the strikeout. Bitch. Quinn measures six feet even. Only twenty years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Swing and a miss. And it's all all one. One. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll finish the series, obviously. It'll be a five-hour one today. Oh, my God, Dan. I, I just feel really exhausted. I don't feel like I can do another hour. I'm not sure why I'm so tired here. And here it comes. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That was horrible. One out. Well, that right there is just a Two outs, space is empty. We're still winning, but it's still part to me. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. Got all of that one. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 7-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish. Nice right knock, there. but that's that coming down. Hit. He's got it. Teal hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your I think we got one more game. There's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done. I, got, I have a, I'm on a slump right now, so this kind of sucks. Daniel Quinn getting ready to hit. Foul ball there. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good. Oh, you dirty fucking bitch! Whether or not he can score on that base hit. Something right when that happened, it wouldn't let me swing. It's like the the thing like, it, like it like disconnected briefly, so that it, it it just didn't work. It just I can't explain. It. I've never had that happen before. That's bad timing. The pitch. That's off the mark, and the count is one and two. That one.
one is upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Please let me hit a big fucker. Honestly, I'm getting I'm getting over it. And a pitch. And, ball. and he walked me completely. I still don't get a hit. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now it's the right fielder, Mickey Moniak. Swing and a ball popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. Around third. Fires it to the plate. But it's offline. He will nice. And it's one nothing. By the way, I wasn't slowing down at two. The AI slowed down on his own. I tried to run three right away when it told me, but it slowed me down. I'm like, bro, we're going to get fucked up here. Keep running. But we caught a break. All right, Kirk's either going to hit something solid. That's the third. Devers. That's going to be a force. The throw to first. That ends the inning and stops the. And a foul ball. So it begins. One down, base is empty. Come on, One man. Something's got to hit. Tied up here in the early going. Hot shot to third. To first. And there's two away. Fuck. Big boost at bat. Grand slam. Power and clutch. Swings through that one for strike one. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Up the middle. And that chance handled. They get the first. Damn it. That ends the inning. Daniel Quinn. And nothing's working. For the Blue Jays. Even boosted it back. To be fair, that wasn't the best pitch. As well, outstanding on the defensive end. Ah. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line well, moving. Through a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Two outs. Wouldn't chase that time. Blue Jays down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Next pitch in for a strike. Two and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for a strike three. I can't get hits anymore, guys. That's like I'm on this big fucking losing streak, basically. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Quinn calls it in, two away. Last chance for the home team. And now for the Jays, Daniel Quinn. Hey, Brandon. The pitch. And it's a force out, so still no hits. Rough. Absolutely rough as fuck, guys. Not the way I wanted to end it on, but I could not get a hit at all. Terrible. Well, I'd say that's the perfect place to stop if I'm on this big-ass losing streak. I feel exhausted. I don't know what happened. I, I was hit, like, with a wave of exhaustion. Very unfortunate. But uh, we are on the doorstep of 13. That's just going to get us a rocket can Whatever that is. I'm assuming it has to do like 10, 9, 8 or something like that. I don't know. Anywho. All right. Well, anyway, guys. So we managed to play a little bit longer. Obviously, the goal today was to play NBA, but it didn't happen. I might just come back on Monday and do it, but it just depends if the games that are coming out. This is, I think our next game actually comes out on Tuesday. If we get an early code of that or some sort of review code of that, uh, we might get it Monday. But chances are we won't. At some point, I, I, I might want to do uh, the stories for this game. Um, just kind of get an idea with that, you know what I mean? But, uh, we'll see how it goes. 
either way i hope you guys enjoyed the stream today if you did make sure you leave a like comment your thoughts below subscribe if you're new turn on those post notifications with a bell icon so you don't miss anything i put out be sure to like follow my socials got facebook x instagram snapchat discord all linked in the description if you want to get a shirt or hoodie of mine link in the description also in a benefit below the stream you can scroll down see some goodies i have there big shout out to all the sponsors of course dx racer bonus coffee the ridge wallet matter of a tattoo and jake's custom controllers i use all those guys products daily and you can check them out for yourselves with the links in the description use my promo code danko to save out check out with them Finally, guys, be sure, to, be sure to sign up and check out the Team 8000 membership program. It supports the page immensely. There's four different tiers with a variety of perks for each of those tiers. Uh, obviously, the higher up in the list you go, the better and the more of those perks you're going to get. But the entry level, only 99 cents. It's cheap, easy to get in the program. For signing up, you'll get things like custom badges by your name, custom emojis using chat, exclusive video stream access, party and open lobbies, giveaways, discounts, and plenty more. Working our way back up. We've been hovering above and below the 400 line. Uh, gifted members expire. You know, it happens every month. Uh, so we are at 398. So that's only two away from 400. So if you guys want to help us reach that 400 goal and ultimately 500 and 600 members respectively, I'd really like to get up there. If possible, if you want to help out, links are in the description to join that. There's a join button below the stream. And there's one on my main channel page as well. You can also gift members or send a super chat. If you like, right next to chat, you'll see that dollar sign. You can gift anywhere from 1 to 15 in a transaction. Super chats, obviously, send whichever you want. Doesn't matter. Thank you guys again for watching. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. We'll be back on Monday with something probably nba but you never know uh but i hope you guys will join me regardless all right thank you so much guys have a great weekend we'll see you then take care peace